here to play a game. That being said. 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 Hello, hello. This is Phil. Phil Burnett. All right. And um, just wanted to tell you that I love the podcast. That being said. Big ups. That being said. Which vest is podcast vest? That being said. Relaxing, chill, interactive, fun. That being said. Which vest is podcast vest? That being said. Relaxing, chill, interactive, fun. A L T. Insider, the legend. Fantastic, Mr. Sam. The dentist. Ski to the dead. Psychological style food. Me or cat. Artistic style food. Tap bean set. Which vest is podcast best? Tap bean set. Which vest is podcast best? Ho, 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 ho. We're here. It's time. <laughs> Christmas show in the house. Ready to rock your Saturday. And it is that being said, ready for the year in review Christmas special 2023. As you can see, I'm, of course, not alone. Joined by a few legends here. First, let's get to the musical style legend, Meerkat. How you feeling today? I'm feeling very festive, dude. I got a festive hat. I got one liter of beer in a fucking can. Oh, it's nice. A huge can. Uh, <laughs> I got everything, everything. Super festive. It is nice to have you with us today. What a year it's been. And f- before we get to that year in review, we have to, of course, recognize our guest style legend today, the one, the only, Aqua Teal. How you feeling, Aqua Teal? I'm feeling okay. It's uh, Christmas and Eve tomorrow, and I got a lot of stuff to do. <laughs> <laughs> well, a lot of presents to wrap. <laughs> What better way to pass the time very effectively and uh, and in the mo- smartest way possible talking about the year that was DSP? I can tell you that. Uh, so <laughs> you're all legends. Meerkat, business style announcements, though. Just a few before we start the fun. Yes, uh, we do have a guest, a second guest that will join us hopefully later on because uh, maybe they're having some difficulties joining us right now. But when it comes to business, we got a lot of business today. Uh, aside from the ranking tier list stuff, that's going to be super excitement. But we also have a uh, shout out to Regis Filgin, who provided us with a bunch of Steam keys to a lot of games uh, that I will be dropping in chat at random intervals. I will make sure to make some some quick announcement that I'm about to do it so people know to look in chat. You guys know how this works. It's a key for Steam. Uh, first come, first serve. So get ready for it. Sounds good to me. Um, also, uh, Black Doom as well provided some of those keys. So shout out to Regis Filgin and Black Doom for the keys there. Okay? Big ups. So big ups, everybody. You're all legends. All right. So the fun today we are going to get into is making a tier list of all the nonsense that has happened this year. So let's see if I can bring it. Oh, there I go. Way off the screen. I'll bring it back. Don't worry. I'm still here. Uh, but <laughs> for the stream, you don't know the fucking shit I went through. Uh, but let's get through it here. Let's get to our tier list. Let me bring that up as I go f- flying around. Um, tier list is going to be... Okay, like, while you do that, I yes, can drop please. the very first key. Yes, so, go ahead. There please. it is. You're a legend. You're a legend. So this is our tier list. And what I'm going to do is like bring up a random... I mean, I'll just, I'm not random. I'm going to think about it. But we're going to go through each one, one by one, and decide where it goes all together on our magical tier list ranking, okay? So uh, I guess let's start with um, let's start with the fun one. Kind of earlier in the year, I'm going to throw up there on the board the Firestone invoice, okay? The Firestone invoice is where I'm going to choose to start. We shouldn't do... It's not. We don't have to do chronological order, right, Meerkat? No, no, not at all. Just like pick something out of the hat, throw it on the board. Let's talk about it and rank it. Yep. Sounds good to me. So the the Firestone invoice was 
This, the, if you don't remember correctly, we'll have to go through every fucking thing. But you remember this was the social experiment that was shown. If I, I'm trying to remember the details of the social experiment, but I believe it was to see if he gives us a little information, exactly how much we can find. Was that the was that the social experiment here? <laughs> yep, uh, I think pretty yeah. much. Pretty much, yeah. Okay, cool, cool. Sounds good. So, uh, I think since we know the year, in, in normal year, this might be very high uh, on the list. Uh, but since we now know the year that was, I believe, in my mind, this is probably only a what? A C tier at best? What do you think, Aqua Teal? Mm. Yeah, I, I agree with that assessment. It's like, it happened, <laughs> but it's not that huge of a deal, mm -hmm. I, in my opinion. Yeah. Uh, Meerkat, what do you think? You Can you agree with that assessment? Well, um, I would I would propose B tier because okay. uh, th he was right. People did find the invoice and it confirmed that he spent a bunch of money for like spark plugs and other <laughs> stuff. So he kind of got scammed, uh, which made too. it funny. But just in general, maybe I actually do agree on on C. Mm -hmm. Considering what else we have to go through, I think C would be reasonable. For yeah, this that's one. what I'm saying. Okay, so let's get that up on. C and oh yeah, uh, yep, for please. for people asking the interview clearly goes to s we're gonna have a special segment about that a dedicated segment so yeah don't worry that's, about that. that's gonna be coming it, up it will get yeah we're gonna get a whole segment of that at the end with our own favorite moments it's gonna be very hype so firestone invoice i believe we're gonna go with c on that right cool with that yep i'm cool right. yeah firestone invoice goes to c next up i'm gonna bring up the let's go what do you think meerkat your choice next i don't want to start everyone um i don't know no just 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 pick them okay how about <laughs> how about bounties and challenges? That's a fun one. Aquatia, what's your memory of the bounties and challenges arc? <laughs> oh, I remember like uh, this was back in January, and mm -hmm. I remember clipping something about this because he basically berated one of his audience members for not paying up when he mm -hmm. did something. Mm -hmm. And I remember he, I clipped it, and uh, DSP must have seen it because I, I titled the clip something DS, DSP breaks toss for like berating of somebody for not paying up. Mm -hmm. And he went back to that live stream and edited that part out. <laughs> yep. Oh, he, oh wow. <laughs> yeah. I didn't remember that. Nice. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> yeah. And uh, the, the whole reason why he had to do that is because people started calling him out for breaking TOS, and mm -hmm. he thought that he could get punished for it. So he changed the name to Challenges instead. Nice. Which, I mean, it's still the same thing. <laughs> Very hype moment there. All right, so where <laughs> we what do you guys the, think about yeah. the rating? Yeah, where we put on the rating uh, here? It was a fun one, but it wasn't like the most impactful thing ever. But it was fun. So uh, what do you think? I'd say low, low B, high C. Mm -hmm. Is my okay. rating I agree. on that. Okay. Um... Okay, I'll do. I'll be the one that decides. I think we'll start this on C two, right behind. I think that's more important than Firestone, actually, though. But like, it feels like it should be on the left of this. But we're not getting nitty let's not get that nitpicky yet because we got a lot to get through. Um, next it was up, really fun. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah it, it was really fun that we got the quote. I don't want dishonest people in my chat in relation mm -hmm. to somebody promising him money and then not coming through with their promise, quote unquote promise. Uh huh. The classic. So, yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I agree on C. I think it's Ooh, is. Yeah. It's good. A lot of uh, transitions there as I try to get my camera back. Next up, we're going to go to Aquatil. You throw one out there. I'm sh don't worry. We have it on the list. If you could think of a saga. Uh, let's see. There's, there's so much crap this year. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> it's hard to pick. Uh, the, the shit. Back, like when he was playing Ishin and he was like calling well it was Ishin and Wolong and he was calling the Asian chicks little girls that oh, shit that's what we don't that's the didn't even make our tier list list but that is a good one <laughs> there's so I, many I don't remember that yeah he said the it little sounds girls. very interesting though yeah he did say he, the he little called, girls mm -hmm. yeah cause he, he's playing Ishin and, and, and Wolong and every time okay. there was like an Asian woman on the screen he'd be like she looks like she's 12 years old because uh -huh. <laughs> he had to kind of talk to them and stuff in date-like fashion and yeah. that really you know how it goes we can't be doing yeah. that yeah what's wrong with you asshole so <laughs> that was a good one we don't even have that on the list but yeah there's so many this year we could have way more but yeah that's a good one good pull there but the, so he called them jail bait apparently people in chat mm -hmm. are saying mm -hmm. yeah japanese women are jail bait uh -huh. there you go yeah <laughs> But yet, there's two naked men fighting in a sauna, and he's all over that. Oh, God, he that was the funniest moment of the year for him, remember? Crack it up. <laughs> woo, 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 woo. <laughs> he was loving it, dude. That was amazing. 
It's just a little oh. part of WB Champions in a different game. He loves that shit, dude. Come on. <laughs> we got to check. All right. I, yeah, go ahead, please. I am dropping a key in chat. And um, shall I suggest the next entry? Yes, please. Let's, let's go with something hard hitting. We got the Comcast detractor. That's okay. what we got. The Comcast secret Comcast detractor. guy. Uh, quick oh, recap. Wow. Uh, allegedly, according to him, and this was verified according to him by Comcast, there is an employee that works there that was intentionally messing up his router settings and changing his Wi-Fi names to things such as Panda Lee was hotter and Greedy Piggy. <laughs> and they also had full control of turning off his internet at any point. Mm -hmm. I think this one, it, it was very entertaining to me. And maybe it's recency bias because it happened pretty recently. Mm -hmm. I remember a lot of the details. But I would go with maybe a strong B to a light A. Okay. I think yeah. I, I think I'm. I think it's a. I think that's probably an A. I mean, because that is it encompasses yeah. everything. It encompasses and plus the yeah. Go ahead. And the plus the Comcast the Comcast employees probably the detractor that came into his house that gave him COVID too. So there's that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and it, but it leads to my favorite situation where we're all kind of guessing what's going on. No, no one of us know the fucking truth. We get Dave's side mm -hmm. of the story. We get Kiwi Farms activity. You know, going in. It, it has yeah. that all kind of speculation going crazy. I think that has to be an A for me. Uh, I can yeah. Yeah. Would you agree with that? Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Comcast Saga was like one for the ages. And, and that's that's like a classic saga from like four years ago or something that would have lasted the whole year. That would have been the thing of the entire year when, you know, in a normal year. Oh, yeah. You know, but 2023, that's like, it's an A. It's great, but it's not like, oh, that's definitely our number one choice. Not even close. So that shows how good the year was <laughs> in terms of the shit. Uh, but I guess yeah. my turn here. Uh, go ahead, unless you have something to add there, Meerkat. Um, I'm going to drop another game in chat and massive shout out to AMAC for the 20 gifts. Dude. Oh, That's huge positivity. Dude. AMAC. Thank you, my friend. You are a legend. Uh, let's get to one of the, uh, not the biggest, but a fun one. L T G beef. Okay. So just to set the stage, lightly set the stage here. This was when Phil, uh, when street fighter six was not in the, in the height anymore. Kind of the, the honeymoon period had ended in the game a few it was more than a few months out at that point and phil evo was coming and uh, to try to i don't know what build some hype of his own take a little spotlight away from evo who knows exactly what he was thinking uh but he challenged <laughs> ltg to a battle in street fighter that he thought he said himself to stop the the game people won't even care about the games on the screen They'll stop what they're doing, break out their phones, and say, whoa, LTG versus DSP, dude. It's going to be yeah. fucking insane, dude. <laughs> <laughs> so where do we think about this one? Uh, I, I, but, Mirkat, I'll throw it to you first. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I, I'm thinking a solid A, because he got bodied so hard by LTG calling him a Walmart NPC and saying <laughs> that he, he looks poverty and his stream looks poverty, that he started wearing better clothes imagine <laughs> getting mentally touched by somebody so hard and the next day after he got bodied by ltg he showed up wearing like a plastic bag necklace or something like uh, that yeah. so <laughs> it, it's it's fucking great i'm going for a uh uh aquatil you're next please what's your thoughts on where this should go what's your thoughts overall of this ltg beef i i i agree it's an a just because for the simple fact that ltg didn't have to really do anything except like insult him, not even really insult him, just say, you know, like, like, you know, make yourself more presentable. And uh -huh. DSP got ma majorly butthurt and offended by that and forced him to change yeah. his clothes. So, yeah. <laughs> the effects of LTG are still being felt. That's why I think it has to be an A. Yeah, you know, like you LTG know, still lives in our heads. <laughs> a, a detail that uh, some might forget is that during the big DSP rant, he said that since LTG declined his offer, he is now his bitch. Oh, so yeah. LTG is DSP's bitch, apparently. <laughs> and you know who else talked like that? <laughs> Fucking pastor, remember? I stole his yeah. manhood. He's mine now. He's just a little bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Big ups, Kaiser. For the five-member bomb, you're a legend. Thanks, everybody. Big I do ups. want to say, um, Jay Wusso in the house says, don't forget about LTG making Phil do a complete 180 wardrobe change just from the waist up, though. Good point, yes. Every wardrobe change, it just involves the waist up, okay? So, yes, that is very true. Yeah. On paper in the house as well says, emergency message, I found the banana song. 
Alvin and the Chipmunks Japanese banana. Dude, crazy Ooh. lore right here. <laughs> okay. It's insane I, lore. I don't want to play it on our stream because, you know, who knows what might happen. But I'll check it out. And if it's good, I'll put it on Twitter and see if there's any truth to that on paper. Thanks for that. <laughs> Shout out. Uh, so LT I'm going to L- drop yeah. a game in chat, by the way. There we go. Uh, any second now. LT Beef is moving strongly into the A side. Uh, next up, let's do... Okay, there's so many spicy ones that have some fun. Let's get into a little bit of a minor one, okay? Uh, so I, I consider it minor, but let's see what you guys think. This is a secret Discord, okay? So the secret Discord was leaked by someone that, as Phil will tell you, uh, was fucking going through, took a year, right? Or something like a year of espionage to infiltrate the Discord, get all the news, and then they leaked it all. And uh, that all came out, and there's some stuff that came out there, my favorite of which was the... You want them to be uh, beholden to you. It was like, um, remember, the, how did he say that? He's like, oh, yeah, that's what you want. You want them begging to come back. You want them to be your bitch or something, to be a dog or something. Remember what I'm talking about? No, was that, that, that was the... That, yeah, was, that, that was the previous one. I don't think that was this one. Oh, yep. yeah, that was the previous. That's true. The most this, recent secret Discord, yeah, I should say. <laughs> this one was basically just kind of telling us things we already know, like uh-huh. him just complaining about the same things he complains on stream to his mods. There was a couple of like pity post messages where he's complaining about nobody talking in the Discord. Mm -hmm. He was complaining about the interview, I think. Uh, Generally, I would have to give it a a C, maybe a D. It was a nice little side story, but nothing remarkable, or at least Mm -hmm. not that I remember. What do you think, Aquatil? Yeah, I'm I'm gonna agree with D because that's, it's it's a minor nothing burger, yeah. pretty much. Let's put it there. The previous one I was thinking about was much hyper than the current one. Now my mind is straight. Um, uh, let's go next up with... Well, I'm just going to... We have to do this at some point, so let's just do it now. How about the tire theft? This was... Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm leaning towards S because of, again, this has all the elements I think make for the best sagas. Intrigue espionage mystery many different characters involved it has all the the ingredients to make a hell of a interesting saga but aqua i'll let you go first on this one can we yeah uh, just just real quick since we're going through a lot of stuff just a quick recap of of every single one Uh, i'll be as fast as possible yes uh this one one day out of nowhere he gets a phone call he seems pretty rattled about it he announces that somebody stole his tire while it was parked where his wife works. Uh, Then it took him kind of a a while to actually go and check it out, but it seemed like it's true. He made some online police report and nothing really came out of it. Mm -hmm. And the, 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 yeah, the the, the, things we know are that the online police report is definitely true. That was definitely filed. Whether that means anything actually happened, you can still make, come to your own conclusions. I will say as well, during that secret cat photo releasing, that tire in that person's picture was different than all the rest. So yep. does that mean the tire was stolen? I don't know. It means that there's a different tire in that stolen tire spot for some reason. Okay, that's all we can uh, say about yeah. that. Uh, and he did yeah. he did post a photo of the tire missing and the, the jack still being there. So uh-huh. there was a, a photo of that. Yes. Um, he did say, the, the what does he say? The entire tire assembly was stolen. That was a funny line. The tire assembly was stolen. Yes. <laughs> and, uh, you know, that, that was the story there. Obviously, we don't know what happened. The police didn't give a shit because they don't care about anything, crimes or whatever. But, Aquatil, what are your thoughts about the tire being stolen? About the tire being stolen? Um, that whole, si- like, obviously there was a police report fallen and it's legit. Yeah. But the whole situation is fucking weird. Like, why would she park like that? And why was this car jack, like, from the actual car? With mm-hmm. the like, the, the whole thing was fucking weird. And I'm like, what? I don't know. I don't get it. But uh, I would pl- probably place this in low S tier, upper A tier. Okay. Just for, like, the fact that we got this, we got this story. And the plus we got the bonus story of the... DSP's dad sending him a picture of a fish and him me like why why are you sending me this? <laughs> yeah, that's a side story of this of this saga and that's very true. That gave us the fish picture, which I do love. I love the thought of his dad saying, "You know what, son? Let's try to connect on something. Something. Here's a fish I caught, son. What do you think? 
you know? And I understand that Phil doesn't care about fishing, and he might not really care. But you know what you don't do? You don't say, guys, check out what my dad sent me, unsolicited. I mean, what? <laughs> What's wrong what with What does that him? have to do with anything? Yeah. Like, come on, man. Just like when you're a kid and you show your parents the stupid crayon drawings and they say it's awesome. At some point, you have to do the return the favor, guys. And that includes liking your dad's hobbies or at least saying, wow, that's cool. And not telling the internet how stupid your dad is. How stupid you think your dad is, because as we know, Dave is much smarter than DSP and actually has a great career moving up the ranks through many different companies. So let's not get it twisted here. DSP is the one that is not as smart as Dave, but oh, he definitely thinks he's smarter than him. I guarantee you that. But anyways, that did, again, prove that another layer to the DSP assholeness, I should say, <laughs> that yep. we already knew. But I mean, if you needed any more proof, it's that he doesn't give a shit about his parents. That I'm putting low S here for this as well. I think that's the right thing to do uh, for the yep, entire. I agree. Magical. It moment. was very, it was very stupid. It gave people a lot to talk about, and it was pretty entertaining when it was happening. So that's that's a pretty good saga to me. Mm -hmm. I agree with you guys. All the I'm about to drop. In chat, by the way, a drop inbound, a care package. <laughs> so stay up. tuned, guys. A few contributions here I want to shout out. Uh, remember, uh, Thack Miles saying, remember, police only deal with human trafficking or something, not tires. Yeah, he said that a few times, right? So he called the police about the swatting thing or the, the, um, the swatting thing, and they don't care about that. Or the, no, the, the uh, identity theft. He didn't call the police about that because they don't care about that. All those kind of... Phil knows what the police care about, what they don't care about. He has very defined lines on that. And he knows all how the police work, for sure, dude. Don't you get twisted yep. on that. Sikorsky vice president in the house. Big ups. Royalty <laughs> here. Saying that um, if depression made Phil wank it, then Derek must be suicidal. Oh, definitely. Oh, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, definitely. <laughs> Jay Ruiz in the house saying, DSP left his home 48 times and talked to at least five people on stream this year. Chill and meaningful life. Sam, I miss your <laughs> random giggles. Steve, your outburst laughter. Meerkat and LT, absolute legends. Thanks, Jay Ruiz. That was a very meaningful comment. There you go, dude. We do miss those things as well. And yeah, imagine leaving your house 48 times an entire year. Very cool. <laughs> very chill. Very meaningful. It gives you a very worldly view of everything, doesn't it? And you could definitely tell people how to think about things when you have uh, that kind of worldview. Amazing. Next up. Um, Mirakat, I want to ask you to describe this one because you put this up here. And I, it doesn't directly hit, click with me what you mean here. So let's go to the React channel right. drama here, please. Um, well, what I was thinking about is basically the entire saga about him teasing, branching out, and then announcing the React channel, then everybody kind of, before it even happens, figured it out, and uh -huh. he tried to keep it a secret. It was just kind of signature DSP sloppiness and laziness, mm -hmm. and just uh, more hype than actual content and substance. Uh, so that's that's kind of why I put it in there. Also, considering that those videos have fallen off greatly within 10 months, because he started in, like, February. Mm -hmm. So, I, I think it's kind of worth putting on the tier list. I, I would say it's somewhere around maybe a low A to B, because some of those React, uh, the, the Sunday Reacts were entertaining, but a lot of them are just kind of dog shit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And recently, we've getting more open about... I mean, he's kind of turned on to just being straight open out there. Said, this is, I need your fucking memberships for this, dude. If I don't get memberships, it's not worth it. I know he tries to dress it up a lot more, but he basically is saying that. Uh, but what do you think, yeah. Aquatil? Yeah, like, uh, like he said recently, he's been very, very aggressive about react to my, like, subscribe to my <laughs> React channel, guys. If you want more Reacts, uh, please subscribe and go donate. I, I, I don't make any money off this channel, so I need those memberships. Mm -hmm. and he was really, really pushing it, and I'm, it was really obnoxious. <laughs> and, uh, and the whole thing failing hardcore as it is, like, you know, occasionally we get some funny shit, like, you know, like the 9-11 React video. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, <laughs> but, uh, for most, for the most part, it's crap, and I ignore it. Yep. So too. I don't... <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna say, probably, just for the fact that he's being, like, super aggressive about how... Because he's flaying about because he knows it's failing. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna say, probably, A? Maybe, high B? Okay, okay. Meerkat, what's your ranking again? For this one um 
Yeah, A or B. I'm seeing Steve in chat also has uh, his stake. He says yeah. it's upper A tier. And while it's lacking any major events, other than Derek asking if a 10-year-old boy who was killed uh, should get the... The killer should get a slap on the <laughs> wrist or go to prison. Uh, oh, is he, he talking about the James Bolger? Yep. Uh, I, <laughs> oh. I think so. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, I think we're all kind of settled on A or B, mo more like A, mm -hmm. I think. That gave us the class that the classic moment that we used in the in the some say the most monumental song, at least the most involved song we ever did. Of course, Bob Starsky was the head on that, and Sam did the editing to make it awesome. But did you watch the interview song ended with that that uh, Derek quote of Do you think uh, we should go to go to jail or just get a warning? <laughs> <laughs> we thought it was definitely worth the ending though, because it was so awesome. But there we go. Uh, let's get the React channel is definitely an A right now as well okay um how about how's about we how do, about i yeah. drop some games in chat please, and please. i'll do a triple threat triple threat match game drop that is driving oriented so it's three racing games that Ooh. i'm gonna drop in chat Very so hype. all the drivers look in chat <laughs> bob starsky reminding us what phil said there's nothing i can do at all uh, just about, about the tire, okay? There's nothing I can do at all except my wife being more careful where she parks. Uh-huh. Phil did say those exact words. Uh, the tire being stolen wasn't his fault, but you know whose fault it was? My wife be not being careful enough about where she parks. And I don't know how she was parked in that spot that the, the picture showed, but, you know, anyways. Uh, she just she <laughs> yeah. was just parked in a parking lot. Where is she supposed to park? It doesn't the lines look kind of weird. Aquatil, you know what I'm talking about, right? The, the, where she is yeah. on the line yeah. doesn't oh, right. make sense, you know. She, so like... Yeah, that's part of my what I was talking about earlier when I said the whole thing was fucking weird because I'm like the way she was parked, like was she parking in that parking spot fucking sideways or something? Because that's what it looks like in that picture. I'm kind of thinking that she could be the kind of person that doesn't even check, you know, or notice. And like, maybe she, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. She might have just tried to drive and say, oh, shit, <laughs> I can't drive. I don't know. Who knows? Yeah, but then some, what would sometimes I would just be in a rush and I would just park like trash, too. Yeah. Maybe not that bad, but still. I don't know. Shit happens. She might just stop wherever she ends up stopping and say, oh, good enough. Fuck it. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Anyways. Um, let's go to a fun one. The DoorDash searching. Okay, the door lost DoorDash. Mirakai, could you please introduce this one to everybody that might not be familiar? Oh, yes. So, as far as I remember, I might not be 100% on this, but I think I got the, the major plot points mm -hmm. correct. So, um, he was uh, having DoorDash delivered to him by a foreigner, apparently, uh -huh, type foreign person, style, style, style person, uh -huh. yes. <laughs> and um, they couldn't find his house, and they said that the food was delivered, so he had to go out at night with his flashlight like <laughs> Mr. Magoo and look at everybody's porches it, whether or not they have DoorDash in them or not. Yeah, that it was a super was, mini saga. Yeah, didn't he? It wasn't that time he ordered seafood or something too and he was bitching about how the seafood was bad now because he, he delivered to the wrong place and uh -huh. it was so long. Yeah, yeah. And this is when he said the, the oh, I got a picture here. Hold on, give me a second. It's worth it. This is when we got this magical picture. <laughs> uh, you'll be seeing it in a second. Hang on, here we go. We got this magical, magical image that forever should stay in the detractor sphere. That led Phil saying, <laughs> that doesn't look like my porch at all. <laughs> doesn't look like my porch at all, dude. <laughs> what? <laughs> wow. Doesn't look like my porch at all. <laughs> And also, we also got this. We also got this. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> I'm dying. All right, you'll, you'll also be joining me, I promise. <laughs> we also got this legendary image, guys. <laughs> oh, God, come on. Get it. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was doing, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Magoo out there. <laughs> hey, you youngsters, where's my DoorDash? <laughs> <laughs> youngsters. That's a term Phil used oh, in man. current year, by the way, youngsters. That's why I'm using youngsters. Hey, you youngsters, yeah. where's my DoorDash? <laughs> Excuse me. H Jorge, whatever your name is, where's my DoorDash? 
<laughs> All right. Anyways, the lost DoorDash was a funny one. Was it that impactful? No, but it was a funny yes. Uh, yeah. That sounds to be a B to me. But what do you think? I agree. A lot of uh, a lot of the things on the tier list are gonna be moments, more like whole, you know, full fledged sagas. Mm -hmm. But I think this was this one was fun enough to like depict what kind of a. A fantastic human, Dark Side <laughs> Phil is. How how interesting he is. I, I would go with B. It wouldn't be bad to have our first B. Yes. What do I you guys think? It. What do you think? I yeah. Yep. Yeah. B. <laughs> also, yes. The DoorDash people were calling relentlessly. By the way, he's like, they're calling me, but I'm not answering it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you see. Oh. It? <laughs> was this the one where he was looking at the guy on the GPS and he was calling him and he didn't respond, but he was still lurking at the guy? Yeah. 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 Dude. <laughs> I can't answer your calls, but I watched your GPS, motherfucker. <laughs> God damn it. Come on, man. Just give the guy the respect. Right. Uh, yeah. Uh, game drop coming in chat in a minute. Uh, big ups to the pasta maker says dad is on death's door can still fish just fine yeah he was saying his parents were on death's door six years ago remember that dad's still fishing like a champ and that's like the more active style fishing you know this dude's going out to the fucking river he's not going to you know some fucking stock pond to pick up shit this dude's at the river bank he's a legend uh, Joe Blot in the house says Merry Christmas and Happy New Year gang Merry Christmas to you Joe and everybody else whatever you uh, celebrate disgruntled Frenchman says it's not just a tire it was a wheel assembly yes get your facts straight yes. uh -huh. not tire assembly <laughs> wheel assembly correct Ragnar says big ups everyone and Vikes in the house says Merry Crimbus y'all Detroit till I die I need my boyfriends and finally we got another one <laughs> big ups <laughs> Vikes <laughs> Okay, next up. Mm. Okay, let's get uh let's get this one out. This was I, I have a special spot in my heart for the ant invasion. And Oh <laughs> <laughs> Well, invasion is a fine word for it. It's more like a entire multi year war, right? I mean they have been around now for years. The ants have been in the snort fort for literal years, you know? I mean they have there's been poison for more than three hundred sixty five days in the household and yet they still survive. They still press on. The ants are a, a character <laughs> in the tractor sphere that I love. Uh Aquatil, what are your thoughts here? Uh I'm gonna put this as an A, and the whole ant things, the the whole ants I got. I'm like, hate army called them in the Antifa dog, and I can't unhear that. <laughs> <laughs> so the Antifa da, it, it chilling in his garage is just hilarious to me. <laughs> Especially since apparently he hasn't put out his garbage in like what five years or whatever. Oh hell no, no need. Yeah. Come on, Cause that's kind of a related side story there uh, that we found out that he hasn't put out his garbage in years. Yeah, yeah. We 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 also got the lore on the ant poison and Jasper not liking sweet stuff, so he he's not interested in in eating it. But there was a uh, ant poison all over the floor apparently. But uh, don't worry about Jasper, you guys. He doesn't like sweets. <laughs> he, I think that's one of those times where he says something that he kind of like, oh, shit, I shouldn't have said that. How am I going to lie my way out of this one? So he decides to go with, oh, cats don't like sweet stuff, guys. You know this. I mean, this is common knowledge. And everyone's like, is that common knowledge? I don't think so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but he keeps talking like it's like normal thing. Yeah, cats don't like sweet stuff, guys. It's just everyone knows it. So it's no problem. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Jasper is slowly life expectancy going down as he licks more and more poison throughout the whole entire fucking year. <laughs> it's like a lollipop for him behind the scenes. All right, but anyway, <laughs> where are we putting Ant? Yeah, he takes a few licks, you know, gets a little lit himself, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when he wants to party, he takes a few licks. <laughs> All right, anyways, come on. Ant, po Ant evasion. Aqua Teal said, A. Hey, Meerkat, where are you thinking? Um, I'm cool with whatever you guys settle on. <laughs> uh, it, it wasn't super entertaining to me, but it, it was kind of a long spanning saga that we got a lot of fun bits of lore and moments. Mm -hmm. So uh, I see people because, shouting uh, out the styrofoam, by the way. We'll get to the styrofoam too. I promise. The styrofoam's a different one. We'll get to that. <laughs> Anivation. I think a high B. I want to say high B for Anivation. That's one of my favorites, but it wasn't, you know, I'm kind of talking myself in A. We'll, st we'll stay high, high B for now. Uh, but that is a recurring character that I do love. Um, next up, big ups to um, 
Uh, big ups to James, who says, big ups and Merry Christmas, TBS. Big ups, James. You're a legend, dude. Thanks. Uh, okay, uh, game yeah. drop coming game in, Game drop chat. in hype. Once again, thanks to Regis Filgen and to Black Doom for the game keys. We are sharing with everyone. Uh, next up, and let's also, get, yeah, um, please. Uh, the winner of the fanfic challenge, uh, which was... Wolverine. Shit, I forgot the name. Yeah, uh, the wor Wolverine doll. They also got to select one. They selected uh, Deathloop, and it worked. Yep. So, and they also got up to them. They also got their choice of merch in the, in the house as well. So they got enough Very for the nice. merch. So big ups to the Wolverine doll with the legendary Cyber Gout was the name of the winner there. Um, all right, next up. Let's get to, uh, okay, since, since it's kind of it tied in here, let's go with the garbage. Oh, this is the garbage disposal. Excuse me. We don't have the, the styrofoam. as The garbage disposal, though, is definitely worth talking about. So this was the another multi-year arc. We started here and got garbage disposal problems, I believe, last year, if memory serves correctly. Uh, and this year, we finally heard he has gotten a new garbage disposal, and it was a high-dollar garbage disposal. Uh, and it was, he also revealed during this that he puts unused fruit down there, just fruit going down there. If they have leftover fruit, they don't eat. They just stuff it down the garbage disposal, which is not normal behavior for anyone that doesn't know. You're not supposed to do that. Um, but the garbage disposal was pretty hype. And yeah, industrial strength. Thanks, Grizz, bro. That was the word he used. Industrial strength garbage disposal. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Very normal thing to need. Uh, but Aquatia, what are your memories, thoughts, everything about the garbage disposal arc? Oh, the garbage disposal arc. So basically with that, he, uh, he hyped it up like it was some major thing. Like, guys, I, I can't stream on Friday. I can't tell you why. And he, like, made <laughs> yeah. it out this, to be this huge thing. And it was like this. And it was like, oh, yeah, by the way, my garbage disposal is broken. That's why. And I'm like, you fucker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, why? Like, like it, this is like, to anyone else, this is like a huge nothing burger. But he, to him, it's like a world-ending catastrophe. Uh -huh. Like, you know? Five guys houses. and plus guys i need money to uh pay for the garbage just to the, the new garbage disposal guys so give me money yeah, he <laughs> acted like, like his house was burning down when he needed a new yeah. garbage disposal all right guys friday you won't believe what's happening dude it's tough i'm gonna tell you and it was the he had the kid industrial style garbage disposal and let me remind you this is not the first industrial style thing he's ever uh gotten he has industrial style air fresheners in his garage, well, but actually they weren't. <laughs> they were just plastic things you get from the Dollar Tree that probably said industrial <laughs> strength on the box. <laughs> and they were th they're were they still there. <laughs> he got them the first time he moved in, has never been changed. You're supposed to change them every few months. He says so in the video, they're still there. <laughs> Anyways, industrial strength, garbage disposal. Meerkat, go ahead, what are your thoughts here? Oh shit, I don't know, this was kind of funny. Um, it, it was a little bit of a quick saga, mm -hmm. and uh, I think the, the discussion behind it and all the jokes that people made were funnier than the actual thing, but this is kind of the appeal of talking about this, guys, that different people make a bunch of jokes and they make a bunch of theories and that keeps it all entertaining. Mm -hmm. That would go maybe B. Sounds reasonable to me. Yeah, that sounds, you guys? that sounds good to me. That sounds good to me. Yeah, Aquatil, is that cool with you? Yeah. We're going with B. We're going with B. Come on, garbage disposal. Where are you? Okay, garbage disposal going up to B. <laughs> let's put it there for now. Uh, okay, next up, let's get a doozy in here. A doozy of a, of a thought. Let's get to... <laughs> oh, I'll wait on that. How about this? The sexy fridge. The sexy oh. fridge. <laughs> Oh, they only have great memories of the sexy fridge. <laughs> America, you, you can share with everyone your thoughts on this first, please. Oh, man. The sexy fridge always comes through, always satisfies. That segment was fucking fantastic. And it, it, it was a part of the, a bigger narrative, a bigger plot point of him being super awkward around everything that is sexualized mm -hmm. in a straight fashion. If it's, if it's gay then it's really funny to him, and he doesn't mind it. But if oh, it's straight, yeah. we're getting reactions like this. So quickly, for uh, anybody who doesn't know about this, I, I think most of you do, but for those who don't know, he played a game called Atomic Heart that is kind of a cyberpunk type of game, and there was a robot fridge that was really, really horny. Mm -hmm. And he was mega uncomfortable to the point where he turned off the sound 
while the the fridge was talking, but not just for himself. He turned off the sound for the whole stream. <laughs> And shortly after that, he also quit the game and never came back to it. Uh, so for me, this has to be perhaps I would I would even go with an S on this Ooh. one. It was so funny. <laughs> it was so funny. I love the, the sexy fridge. All right. Aqua Teal, what are your thoughts, please? Oh, definitely S tier. Like th that whole segment, like just you could tell he was like squirming and like just very, very uncomfortable with the sexy fridge. <laughs> This is one of those, you know, a lot of people like, you know, when he's going to play a certain game, he's like, oh, Phil is going to have trouble with this or trouble with this. And it usually doesn't get a payoff. But holy shit, the payoff we got with that sexy fridge was something I don't think any of us could have predicted. The legendary look away, scr uh, just scrambling, thinking, how yeah. can I stop this from happening? And he was saying like, oh, they're just talking. I can't concentrate. So much noise. And he got <laughs> stuck. It's just... A no it's a video game. Shit's going on. What's this noise? It's pissing me off, dude. And then he gets angry at the fridge for being, you know, sexualized content. Yeah. There was a similar, there was <laughs> yeah, a similar okay. segment recently where he was playing Like a Dragon Gaiden and he was doing karaoke. And in the middle of the karaoke song, there, there's these geishas that popped up and he's like, what the fuck is this? This is distracting. <laughs> <laughs> and I laughed my ass off throughout the entire segment because it was just like, he was so uncomfortable with the moment they showed up. He's like, uh, why is this here? This is distracting. This is unnecessary. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> so yeah. Like, the sexy fridge was just like, yeah, compared to that, that, that was just a side segment, but it was just like, it was almost on par, but it was too short. Like, you know, that yeah, segment was yeah. too short, but... The, but, uh, the, the sexy fridge oh. made him say bye to a game. You know, like, all right, I'm not yeah. playing this anymore. <laughs> like, she just <laughs> said, you're done. <laughs> and it also led to my favorite low-key moment of this, what I've talked about before, is when there's not the sexy fridge, but there's two sexy... Like, not even... Like, they don't talk sexy. They're just, like, slim in the shape of a female robot. You know? Like, they're not even, like... They're just in a sex, you know, kind of skinny style shape. You know, they're trying to make you feel the the vis visage of a woman. And Phil starts yeah. looking at the environment. You know, <laughs> he starts looking at the wall for no reason. And he says some of this yeah. most throwaway comment ever, like, "Oh, it's pretty big in here." Oh, and he keeps looking away. Yeah, <laughs> it's the type of thing you would say when you're watching a movie with your parents, and a sex scene comes on, and you're just trying to make it not uncomfortable. <laughs> oh man, that that moment. Really yeah. underrated. And that's that's what made me believe that it's just, I, I think, like, okay, why would he do that, right? Well, obviously, we all have our theories about why would he do that, you know? He clearly is uncomfortable with sexuality. But I think in this case, the fridge case, it really is about if Kat sees this, I have to be acting like I don't enjoy it. That's just my take on it. Who the fuck knows? It's, it's very unhinged behavior, even if you're in the most loving relationship of all time. It's okay to see sex to be talked to sexually by a refrigerator in a video game. Um, I thought that was hilarious, <laughs> <laughs> but you know. <laughs> and I don't even think he's whipped, Tony. I think it's he thinks this is how I'm supposed to act. So this is how real adults act. So I shall do the same. Uh, that's what I think. I don't think he actually, you know, in the old days, think about every single female ever. Oh, look at her tits. Whip at her tits. There was a tied-up woman in Dead Rising 2. He said, wait, don't untie her. Take your shirt off. He says these things. That's, he believes that's the funny part, you know? That's the funny. But now it's the... What kind of a fucking comment is this? Oh, you ought to watch Dead Rising 2. He is off. He is gone. The woman's name is Rebecca Chang. He goes, I'll come find you, Rebecca Chicky Chang Wang. <laughs> Next up, she and she start, she's kind of an evil character in the beginning. She kind of threatens him, and that sounds fill off. Oh, you threaten me? Okay, you know what? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I was supposed to worry about you? Well, you want some chicken pork fried rice? You want pork fried rice? Oh, wow. Yeah, we got all <laughs> the legends coming out. That was on WPIG this week. It, it, he got all the... And he also said... <laughs> he also said, this is the trifecta. We got the Asian hate, we got the black hate, we got the misogynistic, and the black hate came in the form of... Oh, of course I got a gun. I'm black. <laughs> That's what's his comment. <laughs> so, big ups. Anyways, those are many years ago. That was a character. I should stop talking about it. He was playing a character in those games. Okay. Meerkat, you handle the next one. The 15 years of hate. Right. Celebration, please. 
Uh, first, I'm going to handle a drop in chat. I'm going to drop a code right now. I'm feeling like I'm about to bust the code yeah, in chat. Yeah, drop dude. it. Uh, so, yeah, 15 years of hate was his celebration of, well, clearly, 15 years of doing this on YouTube. And it had a massive segment about his entire history and how far he's made it and how amazing it was. Um, and just generally kind of kind of shit. I guess if you were there watching it live, you could get some entertainment out of it because it was one of the most self-indulgent DSP segments I can ever think of. Um, as a moment, I don't think it's anything too special. I guess I would put it in C. Mm -hmm. I probably agree with that. There was nothing like that hype. It's just usual trying to talk. And this is what he tries to like explain. He pretends everyone's a new viewer and has to explain everything again. And it's all lies. But what do you think, Aquatil? Yeah, I'd go with C2. Like, it was, it was his normal self-indulgence feel that he normally does, and it was nothing really special about it. The only notable thing about it is it was entire history, like, this time instead of, like, a specific thing. Mm -hmm. So I don't really think it was that big of a thing. So I, I think, yeah, C's fine. Sounds good to me. All right, let's get that hey, in there. Hey, I... Yep. Uh, I just... I have just been told <gasps> that Agent Proper's top 10 worst DSP gaming moments of 2023 will be made public right after the stream. Ooh, hype. So Ooh. everybody, in case you want to see that, the first top 10 of I the do. year, I do want go to hit that. that stream up. <laughs> Definitely will be watching What I'm talking that. about. We'll put the link in chat after the after the stream, obviously, as well. Um, we're also, just to tease a little more coming up today, we're going to get this tier list. Then we got a creation by the winner of our Jintro competition, Jay Doing Things, has a Christmas-style video for us. And then we'll get into our all of our top moments from the interview. So lots more fun left today. I do want to say thanks to Christian C., who says, I live in Seattle, which is more green than Renton. His stories about compost and recycling, etc., is BS. His use of disposal is moronic. Happy holidays. <laughs> thanks, Christian, <laughs> for that. Yeah, I want to ask you, Christian, if you're still here. Tell us about the recycle schedule, because Phil acts like you can recycle things once a year if you're lucky. If it's the right year, you can recycle things once a year. Remember? He always talks about that. Oh, dude, recycling is so annoying here, dude. Is it really like that or not, Christian? We're asking if you're still here. Otterly Insane says, commenting, rating, and participating. Thank you, Otterly, for participating. Uh, he says, have an utterly wonderful end of the year. Seasonal style break, everyone. Legend, Otterly. Hey, big ups, dude. Likewise. And thanks to Deposta Maker says, in the old days, it was, what's up, my fellow guys? Tits, am I right? Ha <laughs> ha! Now it's like, oh my god, breasts? Ew! Uh-huh, definitely. It, it used to be the so hardcore, like, tits, yeah, we like those, right, guys? Yeah, sex! I love this! <laughs> you know, that's what all his jokes were like. Oh, boobs, me likey, cool! Now it's the opposite. Boobs? Oh, what are they doing this for? Huh? What? Why do they need this in a game? It's like, come on, man. <laughs> he acts like they're banging on screen, too. It's usually just an, uh, you know intimate moments or things he hates. Anything with emotion, basically. We're out. But two gay dudes wrestling in a, in a onsen? Oh, fuck yeah. That's the funniest shit ever, dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look, they're new. Oh, my God. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Or in the, from the same game, there was also a, a side quest where a dude chases the Kiryu character. Well, yeah, I guess his name is Ryu in that game, but yeah, it's yeah. Kiryu. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, so there's a dude that chases Kiryu down the street trying to, to uh, like, you know, catch him to try to have sex with him. And DSP thought that was the most hilarious shit ever, too. <laughs> oh, yeah, damn right. Well, come on. That's fun. Funny. That's just good, clean fun. <laughs> All right, next yeah, up. Uh, Go ahead, your cat, please. <laughs> uh, yeah, yesterday during the Baldur's Gate 3 stream, he also had a little bit of a moment like that when um, I think a, a dragon guy wanted to have sex with one of his characters and he was trying to avoid it so hard. He didn't even know which dialogue option he should choose to avoid it. Yeah. It yeah. wasn't the dragon guy. It was it was Gale. <laughs> like that's one of the your companions. Yeah. Oh, and what was he the dragon guy? No, DSP is the dragon guy. Oh yeah, right, right, right. <laughs> it's that playthrough. Right. But, but, but still, ass, so. you, you might think like having sex with a, a dragon in a video game is like a fun moment, especially if you're a streamer, you want to make it happen. So just just to see what's gonna happen, yeah. what's gonna come out of it. But he's like so anti-entertainment. He just runs away from it. <laughs> 
He's panicking, <laughs> trying to run away from the dragon. Like, that's a fucking... I mean, if you still care about shorts, which I know you don't, but, you know, that's some that's a hype moment you die for in a stream, you know? These kind of apexes of entertainment where it's just a stupid moment, but that's what makes streams fun. But no, 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 no fun. Run the fuck away. Well, guys, you're not telling me how to run away. What's going on? <laughs> guys, <laughs> please. All right, anyways, next one in the house. Uh, let's do. Uh, I think. Yeah, please. I think we can focus on on some of the more hard hitting ones, okay. uh, so we I can was... get through them and have plenty of time. Yes, yes, yes. No divorce Cause... line today for me, but obviously, if I could tell you ever have to dip out, please uh, let us know. And I know Meerkat, you have okay. to stream the event, right? You're go Are you going to do that still? Have you decided? Or are you? Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm doing it. Okay, cool, cool, cool. All right, next. Let's get into one of the multi the the, the entire year style saga here. Street Fighter Six. Um, this is a big oh, one God. because it's you know. This is Phil's thing. Fourth at Evo, 2005, Street Fighter. I'm good at, guys. I, I, I'm good. And it came out, and Phil's a, a strategy was to get to Master uh, with a few characters. Uh, we got to, And then he... Th this also worked into... He wanted to change consoles for... Why did he want to change consoles again? I can't remember. Which led to him buying that so, other stick. What was the sh switching for? So... Uh, because he said most people were playing on the PlayStation 5. Yeah. Uh, so he just got the copy on the PS5, and then he got a, um, a controller. I think that was for Mortal Kombat, though, not for Street Fighter, but I'm not exactly sure. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that was for... Yeah, you're right, guys. That was for Mortal Kombat early. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think that's even stupider. Right. So we got that for Mortal Kombat early. <laughs> he played that for what? Two or three times? <laughs> and uh, yeah. yeah, and then we turn into the... Rebuilding ourselves back to master on the new console, which again it loves it. That's for you could just get go work your way up two or three streams there of him kicking people's ass that are lower level than him, and then he reached master, and then we got the magic, the real magic of any time he has to play master for a long period of time, he starts getting his ass beat, and then we get the real scramble excuses coming out, and oh man, they are nice and thick. They are. In terms of the low, the, my favorite one is low ping is bad, right? Low yeah. ping is actually worse for higher level players. So if you're a high level player, you don't want too low of ping. All right. Keep up. It's tough. Also, you need to have a PC only, only uh, pros. Of course, they use all the exploits of, of tweaking to make less lag, uh, you know, no proof of that actually being the case of any way. Uh, but again, the, the Street Fighter Salt has been very good all year. And shout outs to Piece of Peace for beating Phil twice in 2023. 2-0 is the record for uh, Piece of Peace versus DSP. But uh, yeah, Street Fighter 6, what do you think, Mirka? Uh, uh, I think uh, Piece of Peace is 2-1. Two and one. Two, oh, But that's yes, not right. to, to downplay yeah. his skill because the dude started playing the game when it came out. He's yes. not, I, I don't think he was into fighting games. And he learned how to play it, became good enough to beat this dude who was flexing about coming out of retirement. Mm -hmm. Because this is also what happened during the Street Fighter Six saga. He talked about how now he is supposed to be back in the FGC, right? He came out of retirement. Yep. And he was having his whole, like, triumphant victory lap, I guess, without actually having won anything. Mm -hmm. um, and... Uh, uh, a lot of like smaller things happen during the the whole Street Fighter Six thing that kind of, um, kind of outline how he is when it comes to fighting games. All the excuses, how nothing is ever enough. And no matter if you buy a, a high end fight stick or you buy the game on a platform that you think is going to be the best, because now the new narrative is that he needs to buy it on PC and then have to mod his PC so he can be competitive. Mm -hmm. So it just exposes all of his bullshit and all of his nonsense. I would just, I, I think this is one of the definitive ones of the year, considering how much it encompasses and how important it is to him. Because yes. to him, it's super important to be good at Street Fighter. That is I would, true. I would say either S or an A. Oof. All right, Aquatil, what are your thoughts? Uh, I'm going to say S because it's given us like a couple of side stories this year, too, like this whole Street Fighter thing. It's given us, like, you know, he's fought other, like, people in the FGC and the salt that resulted from that. Yep. And it's given us the whole, uh, oh, I bought a $300 controller but couldn't buy Jasper Bloodwork Saga. <laughs> and, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> which I don't know, I don't know if that's a separate entry or not. Yeah, we're getting there, we're getting there. This. Don't yeah. worry, we're getting there. <laughs> but, but yeah, it's, it's just been a whole, like, this whole thing, like, his, like, it's showed his mental state where it's, like, his entire life revolves around fucking Street Fighter. 
Yeah. And his like his ego revolves around Street Fighter. Mm. And it's but this this game has made that blatantly apparent to anyone watching him for like ten minutes. <laughs> if you uh, so uh, yeah. um, I was going to say, I would probably put this at S tier. I think that's the right choice because how much you're given. A few other side mini, mini things to mention here. He did show up in Sir Wong's chat uh, using his own face emotes to yeah. try to get attention <laughs> there. He showed up in a few, uh, one other person's chat uh, and said how that person had mastered all characters, which is something that most pros actually do. Even if they don't give a shit about characters, they'll just master them all because it's a cool thing to do on your stream. Unlike what Phil thinks. Uh, but Phil checked and he got mastered. He, oh, you got mastered all the characters? That's something to be proud of. And he said that to someone else in their chat. Like, and then remember that guy made a nice video. Well, can't say nice, but it was a good hearted video uh, to try to tell Phil how to improve. Um, I can't remember the guy's name, but he did, that was a cool video. Uh, Diaphone. Diaphone. Yeah, Diaphone. Yeah. Shout outs to Alejandro for that. Diaphone. Yep. Uh, that was a good video. And Diaphone's. <laughs> the, Phil had a comment. Remember, he did write a, a comment at first, but yeah. then he deleted it in less than a day later because all the people's <laughs> responses were so on point toxic. I mean, but on point toxic, saying like just true shit. That's all it takes. You just say like, why yeah. do you think every single game you lose is not because of you? And then can't handle the truth. So comment deleted. Uh, also, yeah, shout yeah. outs to Hey Bucktooth, by the way, his old friend from FTC. Uh, we don't have real friends, but we see their characters on screen. We can say, Hey Bucktooth, hey, how's it going, man? He said, yeah. How's it going, man? Go ahead, Meerkat. <laughs> yeah, we, we got Snake Eyes. Uh, also, we got um, uh, Rufal Monger making fun of him in a video. I don't think it was like, he didn't go really hard, but it was like a notable guy making fun of him. Mm -hmm. He made it uh, a couple of hype tweets on twitter by mm -hmm. um i think scrub something scrub quotes uh, where yeah, they scrub make quotes yeah scrub quotes they made fun of him a bunch to the point where people in the replies were starting to say that using dsp is cheating at this point because he just <laughs> it's just so easy yeah uh so street fighter 6 has been an odyssey uh even for me who doesn't care about fighting games i got plenty of entertainment in that People got pissed with those scrub quotes because they use DSP too much. Like, you can't do it. It doesn't yeah. count. <laughs> and Snake Eyes, yes, of course. Thanks for pointing out the Snake Eyes, like Meerkat said as well. Snake Eyes, no! Snake Eyes! Come on! Like, how, I don't get why he wants to be hard for being a master, but will say shit like that against a real person that is legitimately a pro. Oh, Snake Eyes! Oh, don't! It's like that make did that you think that makes you look cool? I mean, you can't. You're refusing to even fight. How low can you go? I don't want to fight yeah. you. Yeah. I mean, all right, cool, very good. And the best part is he, he DSP yeah. gets his characters to master rank, and then he just abandons them and let, leaves them there to rot for yeah. the most part. It's like yeah. it's like if you're really confident, like there's a legend here, dude. Why aren't why aren't you aiming for that? Yeah. If you're such a good player, why are you not going to legend here? Yeah. We well, know why, yeah. because he he knows he's not good enough. <laughs> and he always finds some fucking excuse, like, the ping is too low. And thank you, Wizius. DSP versus Chris G was this year as well. 0-13. Magical video. Magical video. Uh, Over 200k views last I saw. Uh, yeah. <laughs> piece of piece video that has both sides. That is incredible. Those are always awesome, the both sides. Uh, Brand Dude yeah. asks, is our other guest still coming? Uh, yes, I believe they're still coming. They will show up. Um, can't confirm or deny, obviously, but hopefully they're still showing up. Uh, yeah. Next up. And also we yeah, got a uh, shout out to, uh, I think the name was Dirge Gaming. I'm sorry if I'm wrong. For making the videos where they analyze DSP's actual inputs. Because if you watch the replay of the match within the game, you can actually see what buttons the, the person has pressed. Yeah. And um, it kind of exposes him a lot. Yes. And all that shit he says, I, I was blocking that! You know, it's like, you know, <laughs> anyone can say that, you know. But <laughs> big up Swaggy Davis, Swaggy Davis Jr. says, big up gents and Aqua Teal's laugh is joyful. Agree. Very joyful laugh there from Aqua Teal. Uh, Christian C. says, any word on Secret Limited will bless us with the last video. So Secret Limited is has announced they are not making the video this year. Uh, but we do have one to leak at the end of this video. Right? So, should be at the end of our live stream, another video goes live. Not from us. Who yep. made it, Veercat? Who put it out? Who's putting it out? Um, Agent Proper. Agent Shout Proper. out to him. I'm yep. sure he put a, a ton of work. Yes. So, people, 
Um, I'm I'm gonna be doing the the restream of DSP. Probably the first like half an hour to forty minutes of of his shitty ass podcast is gonna be dog shit. Yeah. So make sure to go check out Proper's video as as much as you can. Yes, because I know I put a lot of work into that. Um, and big ups to Duty Streams with the member. Bam! Big ups Duty Streams. Thanks for your service with all the content this year, my friend. Uh, let's get to hard hitting. You asked for hard hitting. Well, here is hard hitting. Let's get to the mini PC saga, my friends. Uh, this was a multi-month saga. Meerkat, I'm going to ask you to outline this one, please. Right. Uh, well, he's been low-key begging for a new PC for a while now, mm -hmm. and he's still doing it. But what kind of um, was a consolation prize to him is that somebody actually sent him a mini PC. You know, one of those, like, kind of a little bit underpowered, but still pretty decent PCs for, like, office work, etc. Some some gaming, like, yep. low-tier gaming. And, um, yeah. Well, he was pretty biased about it in the beginning and didn't really know a bunch of stuff. So people started correcting him. Mm -hmm. And he was lashing out in spectacular fashion. And it gave us a couple of really good segments. Uh, and the, the most prominent one might be the Lavinia rant, mm -hmm. where he took a long time. Uh, justifying how he was wrong, but actually not wrong about <laughs> uh, the the mini PC having some sort of a cooling solution to mm -hmm. it, you know, some kind of fan. And uh, he was also talking about cooling gel, which is still <laughs> a fantastic <laughs> phrase that he he means actually thermal paste. Yes. but no, it's cooling gel instead. Mm -hmm. And also, uh, some fa my favorite quotes from this are that AMD processors are made to overheat. I believe. Yeah. The word. yeah. <laughs> That's what they're made for. I mean, what else do you expect? They're made to overheat. Uh, and he kept saying hobby box. When I really want to ask yeah. you what he thinks a hobby box is, he said that about a thousand times. It's just a, just a hobby box, you know? <laughs> what do you think a hobby box is? Uh, but anyways, a lot of fun stuff there. Of course, Lavinia was the biggest one because are you going to apologize to me for being correct? on You saying I was wrong even though I was correct? You uh, know, you know, just that kind of... He has no clue what to not turn to not appear like an asshole here, but he can't say he's wrong, you know. So he has to yeah. say something, but he's not sure how to say it. And then we just get the blah, 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 you know that kind of stuff. Uh, but what do you think, Aquatiel? I I think like how hard is it to say you're wrong, DSP? Like, <laughs> just say you're wrong and move on. Not this blustering nonsense. Then banning Lavinia because your ego is hurt. I know. Oh. The video had like good intentions too. They did not say it in a rude fucking way, you know. Either I still remember that it was not a rude fucking way. It just like, hey, uh, it's not like that. What you're saying is factually incorrect. But yep. what happens? You get your ass. You get that ass banned. I need a written apology, bitch. What's things wrong with you? Yeah. And I've um I've seen plenty of people point out that Lavinia was somebody's sock account and they were actually a troll. But during that segment, there was no trolling. Um, uh -huh. I've I've looked at the the chat for that stream. Lavinia just pointed out that he was just wrong yeah. in, in a pretty polite way that, I mean, probably DSP doesn't deserve, but they, they were being nice to him. So, um, yeah, the whole explosion that he had over that is, is fantastic. Yes. But I don't think it, it warrants being on, on the top part of the list. Maybe perhaps a, a B, I yeah, feel like. Yeah, I'm down with that. I think, I, I think that's probably right. Uh, it, what, as some people say, though, another thing we should point out is some people... Uh, theorize that the mini PC had also a part in the Comcast saga. That could actually be why yep. the Comcast saga happened. It's not about Comcast at all. It could be a something inside that mini PC. Um, you know, there's some intrigue there. So I kind of, I'm kind of feeling B. But Aquatia, what do you think? Uh, low A, high B. Okay. And plus, the mini PC was also uh. Part, like caused some issues during the Chrono Trigger playthroughs too, so that was kind of hilarious. Uh huh. That's true. That's true. Yeah. Too. Okay. <laughs> so let's get that. In oh yeah, I remember it was like freezing up a little bit, and he was salty. He's like, "That's why <laughs> console gaming is better." Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> See, <laughs> the console game is the best. Dude. <laughs> All right. Next up, another hard hitter has to be done. Jasper Kitty. Jasper Kitty and the vet. So. Uh, Jasper Kitty was taken to the vet. Do we know the the the, the reason for the initial visit? I don't remember that offhand. I think uh, it was a just a normal checkup, wasn't okay. it? Okay, normal checkup. I, I'm not sure, so I definitely believe that. So it's a checkup, and the vet 
uh, recommended <laughs> that they get blood work because a cat's above a certain age. They usually do that kind of stuff. But Phil, in all his wisdom, said that was an upsell. And uh, he declined that because that's how vets make their money. He said that as well. Vets make their money from upselling things. That's how, you know, that uh, yeah. cutthroat vet business is. They make money from yeah. upselling. And Phil it, you, you also got the chihuahuas yeah. partying uh, party in the chihuahuas. break room or whatever. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> partying chihuahuas. Yeah, they were, I mean they're, they're chihuahuas. They're having a party back there. <laughs> yeah, if if, uh, if the L Crimson King comes back with another animation, the Jasper vet visit would be a phenomenal choice of an animation. <laughs> oh god so anyways what are your thoughts Mirka, for where this should go I, this feels pretty uh, pretty impactful but uh I, i'm seeing steven chat says an s i don't really have that much of a of a strong opinion either way i'm cool with whatever you guys think i mm -hmm. think jasper is definitely not getting the treatment he deserves as somebody who is referred to as the non-human son <laughs> in a part of the family i think he is kind of being mistreated in that capacity but I don't know. What do you guys think? I'm, uh, I'm, I'm fine with whatever. Oh, thank you, Yellow Coward, for pointing out the vet wasn't in uniform as well. Yes, was not in vet oh, garb. Yeah. They were not in vet garb. The garb. <laughs> 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 All right, Aquatia, what are your thoughts on the Jasper not getting the blood work? The vet upselled them. <laughs> I think DSP is a shitty pet owner, and uh, for this, I would probably place it in S tier just because like that's the, the, the fact that okay he he didn't get blood work first pet that's shitty enough but then he has he suddenly has enough money to buy a new fucking controller uh -huh. like literally days later yep. like i think yeah i think that's uh, that shows where his mindset is at and i think that's probably S tier mm, I, can, I, I, can, I can agree with that i think i i was feeling a and then meerkat said b and then aqua teal's here saying s so maybe let's put it in a for now um steve though also we gotta count steve's vote as a as a legitimate vote here uh, yep. that, this is this is the toughest one, I think. Um, I B, think, C, I B. think the compromise would be A. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. like okay, I said, okay. I'm fine with whatever. Yeah, whatever yeah. you guys I mean, think. It's not that deep in the end. That is true. Thank you, Sir Moist. Sir Moist was that? <laughs> Sir Moist was last year, right? Sir Moist was yeah, in 2002. Yeah. Last year. <laughs> it feels like it's kind of he still lives with us, <laughs> rent free. But all right, next up, let me move the uh, Jasper interview, of course, to A for now. Uh, let's get to more modern style, shall we? How about the more modern style? Uh, yeah, let's and go. Let, let's get into the Lol Cow podcast. Um, so this one in, encapsulates a lot. Uh, so obviously we have the this arc really started during the inter. Well, I mean last year when the Lol Cow podcast was an idea of Keemstars. Keemstar uh, Phil declined. Then on the interview, Keem was brought on that legendary segment. Uh, smoking a cigarette, having fun, S appearing to be the most chill businessman on earth. Be and Phil, in his ravings next to him, made it seem like the stupidest businessman on earth. Uh, then they made the then they made the Law Cow podcast anyway. Uh, some dude, Boogie and Wings is the new form, uh, but Turkey Tom and Mudahar also working on it. Uh, they uh they kind then the Turkey Tom released a video about DSP ten years of failure. Uh, Phil push well Phil started with not the not outright negative view of it. Remember there was a kind of a few days where it wasn't the worst thing of all time, but he hated the name, the name. Yeah. Oh, you I, I don't consider that failure. If you're not oh, talking he'll still about, go on random. Yeah, yeah go ahead. I was gonna say he's he still goes on random tangents about that how how he's not a failure. <laughs> It's like, yep. like, like just randomly he'll like go like, oh, by the way, I'm not a failure, guys. I made like $500 this stream and, uh, you know, I yeah. have a successful, you know, I have a beautiful wife and a cat. And just like, like ever since that video came out, he's gone off on random tangents like that. Yeah, I think I, Aqua Tail is right on the money. Because remember, we even heard about like yesterday or two days ago, the woodland critters. And they were, they were watching yeah. the woodland critters. And it made him think how happy he is <laughs> and all this shit. I think that's Turkey Tom's doing. Because <laughs> as we've seen, shit, people say shit or do shit. And Phil will change his life based on that. He doesn't care, though. Yeah. But he will change his life about it. And I think now he's reminding everyone how... How lucky he is, and oh, he got these woodland critters. 
babysitters and I got someone I love. And we get all these stories because he doesn't want to appear like it was 10 years of failure. But what do you think, Meerkat? <laughs> well, we also got uh, the, the fantastic segment about milking humans <laughs> in parentheses, not even for sustenance, by the way. Yo, in oh, that no. would be okay if you milk a person for sustenance. Uh -huh, you just uh -huh. feel like you want to have some breast milk ice cream, just, just hit up the breast milk shop and it's all good. <laughs> Uh, but all things considered, yes. in all the amounts of, of segments and, and things that I had to laugh at about the Law Cow podcast and DSP's involvement in it, and how they're still trying to get him on, mm -hmm. I would say this is uh, might be an S for me. Because I just laugh really hard about the whole thing. Even when, when you don't involve DSP and it's its its own separate thing, you know, it's still pretty fucking funny. All right, Aquatil, where's your cheer? Meerkat's making a case for S. What do you think? Uh, I'd yeah, I'd say S too, just because like this Turkey Tom literally literally fucking broke DSP with that title, uh -huh. with that video, mm -hmm. and w I think that we're gonna get a lot of more lols out of this before it's over. I agree with that, and it, because it's an ongoing situation. Uh, and the show, I mean, I don't know how successful it is. How many viewers are they pulling in live now? I don't even know. But I mean, it's definitely more successful than some some thought. I'll say that. And it's still going, and they still have hype things going on. Yes, they're trying to go to that DSP well a bit too much, I think. But they're still continuing on, trying to get their own things going. Now we got some Ethan Ralph stuff happening. Um, yeah. You know, it, it's successful, more successful than most people thought. And hopefully they keep doing the live show thing. I think that's cool. Uh, but yeah, this stupid cringe trying to get Phil to interact, just it, it, he'll interact if you just give him time, you know, you don't have to ask him for it. He will interact. Don't worry. The more successful Lol Cow podcast becomes, the more he'll start interacting without you asking for it. You know what I'm saying? He won't be able to handle yeah. it, <laughs> you know, <laughs> but all right, next up. So what is yeah. the final verdict? Oh, oh, yeah, put I put it, it in there? S. Okay. I think it's S, too. Right. Sorry, I didn't say that. Yeah, definitely S, sure. I think. it's Because it's I'm thing. seeing a lot of mixed reactions in chat, and I, I would see some people saying C, but I think that's way too low for the amount of actual content we got from DSP himself coping and being butthurt about it and crying about it, complaining and roasting people. And even sometimes he's talking about them, but he wouldn't name drop them, but you know he's talking about them. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. This look like a failure to you. We got the woodland critters, and they're yeah. well, that was so fucking cringe, dude. That was the worst. I was looking yeah. outside. I thought how lucky I was. Like, I don't think you're supposed to be giving animals in that kind of capacity food. Like, that's like a, they tell people around here, my where I live, HOA, don't feed any fucking animals because they'll keep coming. They don't stop. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Know? There's yeah. this this one douchebag kept feeding the geese and stuff, and now his yard is just geese city because they're waiting. Yeah. You know, <laughs> <laughs> like, I guess he wants that. I mean, maybe that's Cat's only social interaction that Phil lets her. Because Phil, let's talk about social interactions. Phil has his chat, and Cat has woodland critters. I mean, what else is there? He doesn't let her do anything else, right? So. I mean, yeah. sad. All right, anyways, let's move and, uh, on. Go ahead, please. Final thing on this. <laughs> I think at the core of this entire saga is DSP's denial of being a lol cow and how much it hurts him when other people compare him to people like Wings and Boogie who admit they're lol cows mm -hmm. and actually weaponize it to profit off of it. Yeah. Which is, if if you're considered that kind of a person, you, you might as well fucking embrace and make some money out of it. Like, what the fuck? You're yes. just going to let people shit on you for free? <laughs> I don't get it. it. Yeah, it's just, he can't, that's one thing he does not, he cannot accept the lol cow thing. Lol cow thing, what? You're the lol cow. It's like, come on, man. <laughs> You're the lol cow. Uh -huh. Anyways, big ups to Cobes. You want to drop a code in your meerkat? It's a good time. Oh, sure, yeah. Code drop, go ahead. We got a few shout outs right. here. Copeside Phil says, he also said AMD CPU are known to overheat. Yep, they, they are known to overheat. That's their famous feature is overheating amd and big ups to duty streams in the house says thank you for the year of quality content this holiday season i asked santa to bring you all success a new back for steve and joy to everyone in the chat also over under tip amount for the marathon that's a good question all right aqua teal prediction for over under of tips for this christmas marathon today uh i'll say 300 dollars. 300 from aqua teal meerkat mob over or under 
you choose the amount to set the over under at. So Aqua Teal is thinking 300 is about where uh -huh. we should start with. So you think, oh yeah, let's do that. Aqua Teal set the bar. Meerkat above or under $300. Yeah, I think Aquatil is being very reasonable. I would say over 300. Because uh, don't forget, he is drinking today, and it's also Christmas. You know, it's the climax of the season of giving. It's the season of giving season finale, pretty much. <laughs> so I would expect over 300. What was his... Remember the bad one where he hates drinking? <laughs> How much did he get for that oh, one? Oh, dude. <laughs> no, I, I think he made a lot of money on that one, but he was just, like, feeling like shit, so uh, it was okay. miserable. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, cool. few more to get through here. We got, that, all heavy we got that hot tweet, by the way. I can actually read it out. Please, please. Uh, if I can find it real quick, because it's fucking fantastic. So this is your boy, Darkside Phil, at the 24th of December, 2018, you know, Christmas Eve. Uh -huh. And he comes through with the following super positive message. I apologize for my weakness during the holiday marathon. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't think I'll be drinking on stream again, as it legit made me feel awful, compounded with my own troubles. And that's not what you wanted or needed during a festive event. <laughs> I will do better, friends. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, DSP. I will do better. All right. Let's step it up. We have a, just a few left here. Four or five. Uh, let's get to it. Tears of the Kingdom. The viral saga on Tic Tac in the house. Legendary, legendary, uh, uh, you know, just bonehead moves from DSP led to legendary anger towards the game, Tears of the Kingdom, because people were just pointing out how stupid he was being. Phil wasn't having fun with all the stuff that's actually fun to do. He was saying too many features, too many things to do. He didn't have yeah. anything else to shit on, but he said it was too hard to... It, it, there was too much there to do. Fuck you, Nintendo. Giving me stuff to do. What's wrong with you? Please. <laughs> uh, so that led to that. It got him millions of views. You know, that famous clip is where the balls have to connect. You have to connect balls, and you can push them yeah. easily into that little thing. Phil instead... Does it the stupidest way possible? Carries them over manually. It looks at, and then he finished it. It, it worked. Nintendo you, makes you be able to do it many different ways, even stupid ways. And then he says, "Okay, how'd that work? Figure that one out. Clip that, bitches!" Yeah. Like, yeah, they did. <laughs> yeah, they did. Yeah, and it, he was also roasted by a couple of VTubers yeah. uh, that watched his gameplay and just made fun of him. So it's it's always fun to see different demographics of people discovering. The, the DSP <laughs> stupidity yeah. and how they're going to react to that. Because, yeah, we, we watch a lot of them. We kind of know what to expect. But uh -huh. just to a random person experiencing that for a first time, it's just funny as hell. Legend. But what, what do we give as a tier? I think what do you guys C. think? I, I'd say C, but it's kind of impactful. But we have to give some kind of lower things. I'll say, I'll say low B for this one because it was cool for a while. Doesn't really have that much lasting power, but pretty good. Aquatil, what do you think? I'm going to say B. What do you say? Uh, I'll say probably high B, low A, because just because for all the entertainment value we've gotten out of it, just for his stupidity. Mm -hmm. And plus the whole, like the whole Zelda thing, it's like, okay, he already fucking hates Nintendo games. And it's just like this game kind of just kind of exacerbated the hate, I think, for him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, true. <laughs> all right, Meerkat, your deciding vote. Mm, I, I think... Aquatil is on the money. Low A, that's kind of how I feel about it. It was funny while it happened. Not much of a long-lasting impact, but the, yeah. the initial impact was very entertaining. We got a whole new demographic of people discovering him. That was hugely entertaining for me, so A sounds good. All right, we got an A. Uh, next up, the fun one. Fun one here. The Sickness Saga. So this was a more oh, recent yes. thing. <laughs> Where, Mirka, you break this one down. Go ahead. I'll break yes, down please. Because <laughs> I remember it like it yeah. was yesterday. And he also remembers it like it was yesterday because he keeps bringing it up, fucking up. Uh -huh. So, um, at in some point in uh, October, late October, it was right before Halloween, our boy Phil was struck with a near-fatal illness. And by near-fatal, <laughs> I mean a pretty common cold or maybe the flu. Uh -huh. But he, uh, he thought it was uh, COVID, even though he never got tested. And he infected his wife as well. Mm -hmm. So shout out to Kat. 
Uh, then he made a health update video, the first ever health update video, <laughs> even that I've ever seen. Uh, so he's kind of breaking new ground here. Oh. Then he came back, back with a vengeance, and for the next fucking two months, even until nowadays, he keeps bringing that up as a way that he was held back and he was derailed and his business was ruined. Uh, we didn't get a Halloween stream, so we didn't get to see what kind of a stupid costume he bought for himself this year, but he claims it costs a lot of money. And uh, overall, pretty entertaining, but I don't really know in the general schemes of things how it, it kind of looks like uh, when it's supposed to be put on a tier list. So what do you guys think? All right, I'll go first and say this did make him cancel a marathon. Did cancel the Halloween. Thanks, you rollback snort code for that. This canceled an entire, uh, entire marathon. He talked about it for very, like a month. <laughs> you know, hardcore. Every stream starts with that. I'm still getting it, I'm getting it back. Uh, but is it very impactful? I'm thinking A, but, but uh, Aquatia, what do you think? Yeah, it could be some recency bias here too because it did happen recently. But uh, I do think it's probably an H2 because, like you said, it did make him cancel a marathon and he'd never fucking do that any, mm -hmm. un under any circumstances unless he absolutely had to. But then again, a lot of the a lot of his hand wringing around it too is kind of funny too. Like, oh guys, I was sick and how to he still brings it up. There was at one point out on my like a dragon restreams, I had a fucking counter of how many times he mentioned it. <laughs> <laughs> Classic. <laughs> Got to get and that. Uh, Got to get those uh, city bucks. Go ahead. We we got to see what happens when he misses a bunch of streams, or at least a couple of days, and mm -hmm. then it was like almost DefCon minus five, dude. This this guy, it was all about the sickness. He was down with the sickness all the way. All the yeah. streams became like the quarantine stream. <laughs> quarantine. Stream. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I would agree with you guys. A sounds mm -hmm. good to me. Yep, sickness saga in the house. Want to say shout outs to um. Trenton Brown in the house says, this say you don't play is an easy high A to me, as it reminded me that despite everything he did, it was being bad at a game that got DSP some of the most attention he got all year. He truly is forever stuck at level one. And that's a good point. Is, uh, us Tears usually, of the Kingdom, by the way. Yeah, Tears of the Kingdom. Usually he, um, usually he gets attention now from begging, right? That's most of his attention, but he still can pull out the horrible gameplay. Uh, being yeah. shared. That's a good shot there. And big ups to He's Uck still Buck. got it. Yeah, he still has it. <laughs> still got it, dude. That's why he's the GOAT. Uck Buck the Black, a legendary rival of DSP, says, snort for tips, scam. Correct. <laughs> yeah. That's a good way to name it. The snort for tips. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, okay. I've kind of avoided this one. Oh, yeah. yeah. Speaking yeah. of which, during the sickness, man, the snorts were like oh, earth yeah. shattering. <laughs> yeah. We, we got yeah. some like generational snorts during that. <laughs> The bass was in full effect on the yeah. God, <laughs> you know, the well, that bass reverberating throughout the snort fort. Uh, but now it is time. You know what I'm thinking about. It is time for the plastic bags being stolen. The <laughs> stolen grocery bags. They had to be here. You know it. I know it. Who I wants think to I recap can. this? Aquatil, you want to do this one? Sure. Ahead, so please. DSP was shopping on his day off and he brought some grocery bags with him that he brought from home and he stupidly left his cart unattended uh, for uh, for going to look for something. I forget what it was. Uh, cherry but juice. he came back. Yeah, <laughs> no, it was no. cherry. It was, no, I think it was, it was cranberry <laughs> sauce. Cranberry sauce. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, he, and when he came back, his cart was, his cart and the bags were gone. He's like, oh my. And all the other grocery, he already picked some groceries up at that point too. Yeah. So everything, like his entire cart was gone. He's like, they stole my cart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, and it's just like, how do they steal your food? You haven't even paid for it yet. Like it's, the only thing they lost is some, like, what, bags that cost, like, what, maybe a buck or two each? Yes. Like, yes. Yeah. Maximum. <laughs> Maximum. But he, was, yeah. but he was robbed, guys. They, he was yeah. robbed. He tweeted, I he... was robbed, right? That's what the tweet was. Yeah. He said yeah. those words, yep. Yeah. He said, uh, eh. he said he got robbed, and it's not a big deal, but mm -hmm. that day, if you were watching his stream, you would see people in chat were genuinely, uh, genuinely kind of, you know, concerned about him mm -hmm. and if he's okay. Mm -hmm. And then he shows up with this bullshit that is mm -hmm. like a 20-minute story, probably even more, about how the most nothing thing ever happened. The mm -hmm. thing that barely fucking matters at all. And it, it, it's just 
kind of outlines his ability to to stretch everything into a huge story and overhype it. Mm-hmm. And then he was also pissed off at the way he had overhyped it by calling himself, you know, a, a victim of robbery. <laughs> like DSP, do you even know what robbery means? <laughs> robbery implies force. Like yeah. that that you were they were they took it away from you by force. It's like just some random like worker in the store probably just saw your card unattended and just wheeled it away. Like I don't think anybody forced you <laughs> your yeah. groceries away from you, dude. Like uh, I love he, how he, he did he, Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. He did he did brought up uh talking to an employee at the store and they were also confused and they told him that probably somebody stole the card. Oh yeah. But they, of course they he's always the unreliable narrator, so you never actually know what happened. <laughs> he, mm-hmm. the, the the uh the story itself took an hour to explain you know and he we get the whole grocery saga we got so many good grocery takes about how yeah. they put seasonal <laughs> stuff on the end and like what the fuck is that for what why do they do that you go in the aisle guess what not there then it's on the end caps so you know he has to go to these end caps rant and he left his cart walked to find something new Worker, this is the real truth of what happened. Worker saw empty cart. They push it to the cold area. To people are going to put all this shit back. That's exactly what like fifty people sent message. Not fifty, but you know, a few workers of grocery stores messaged me and said, "This is what happened. When a cart's there, we have rules about how long it sits there before we got to say move it along." You know, so at whatever point, a worker said, "Okay, someone left this here." Who knows how long that means it was gone. He timed it, by the way. Thank you, Sick Monkey. Yep. He said he timed it. Who in their right mind times how long you leave something at a store? I mean, we all know it's a lie, but that was one of the no. biggest ones. I timed it. Yeah. I'm going to go get that something. Sounds, it, it sounds like a thing that you say so people can't call you out on lying, yes. but it it's definitely seems like a lie to me. Yes. That well, he, he does that with, timed it. Why well, would he even time it? <laughs> He does. He does that with his tips too, guys. It's been forty-five minutes since about the last tip. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but because uh, because uh, uh, you can see that in the, OBS, I, so yeah, you don't yeah. really need to time it. You just look at the thing. But yeah. with this, is such a bizarre thing because nobody would do that. Sometimes you leave your cart to go look for something, but you don't time it. Why would you even do that? You don't even think about that. And he, he's again, he has to c- c- cover that question you might have: is how long was it gone? How long was it gone? I told you, I timed it two minutes, motherfucker. What's wrong yeah. with you? He was well, the that most imp- excuse. Yeah, go ahead. I was going to say, well, the most important question is, why did he not take his cart with him? I know when I go to the grocery store, my cart never leaves my yeah. site. Yeah, I mean, that's the yeah. great question. You could just push it to where the, the fuck you got to go. But you know what he probably did? He can't tell where anything is. You know, he's, he probably does grocery store like he plays video games. Just walk, a th- walk through the whole entire store looking for something. You know, where's the fucking cranberry sauce? They never told me. So he's going, leave the cart, walk, walk through one aisle. You know, I mean, do you think he reads signs? I doubt it. He doesn't read, you know. <laughs> Yeah, he was probably gone for ten minutes, and they said, "All right, fuck, we got to put this card away, boys." I was there two minutes, yeah. and the worker agreed that's with him, it. of course. Yeah, someone stole it. That always <laughs> happens, dude. It's like a war zone. That's dude. the thing <laughs> about the worker. There's a bunch of workers working in a supermarket like this, especially if it's like a bigger one. Because you imagine he wouldn't go to your local supermarket. Uh, he would go you? to the big baller supermarket <laughs> where all the big ballers go. Uh-huh. So they, they got a bunch of people working on there. So maybe one of them just took his cart and thought it was abandoned. And then he talked to somebody else who knew nothing about what actually happened. Yeah, yeah dudes work in a different department. Okay, yeah. tell me what you know. My cart is missing. You know, and he's like, I think someone stole it. What do you think? The dude's like 15 years old, like, uh, yeah, that's what happened. You see? Yeah. <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> All right. Where are we putting it? Where are we putting the plastic bags stolen? Uh, the grocery store bags stolen. It, it's not the biggest deal, but it feels kind of impactful. I don't know. What do you think, Meerkat? Uh, uh, impactful? I don't know. In in the <laughs> In the grand scheme of things, it didn't really matter. But at the moment, it was entertaining i was looking forward to hearing that bullshit ass story that he had and it ended up being a bullshit ass story Mm -hmm. but i did laugh quite a bit because in the end of the day he talked about uh, getting robbed for 20 minutes up until the point where he actually said what was stolen from him Mm -hmm. and it was fucking plastic bags (laughs) so i don't know i would say b or c (laughs) all right b or c from your cat aqua teal what do you think I'm going to go with C because like, like Meerkat said, like it was funny in the moment, but it's like in the grand scheme of things, it's just like, it's just another bullshit story we laugh at and forget about yeah. pretty much. I'll agree with that. Let's do a C. It's uh, the plastic C bag. C for stolen. cranberry. 
Yeah, cranberry sauce. That's a very important cranberry sauce. You gotta have it. Um, let's see, just two more. Obviously, we're not doing the interview. That's the uh, interview is its own tier. We're gonna get to our favorite moments there in just a second. We do have to talk about at least one more though, and that is Baldur's Gate three. It has to be mentioned before we move on here. Uh, I think uh, Baldur's Gate three. The game he didn't want to play. I remember I did a whole WPIG about covering all the references he mentioned. He he His easy excuse was, I've never played it. I don't care about it. He said that. Then he said, I'm never going to play it. I don't want to play it. The hype kept building for it. He said, I can't play it. I never played any Baldur's Gate games. I don't want to play it. Then it won Game of the Year. <laughs> and Phil yep. said, oh, Phil first said, it will never win Game of the Year. That's not how it works. It was released six months ago. For It's a PC-centric game that was released six months ago. They never win Game of the Year. When Starfield comes out, no one's going to be talking about Baldur's Gate 3. Hate to tell you, that's not how this works. And again, Baldur's Gate 3 won Game of the Year. Bill then decided, now was the time, <laughs> as usual, right on time, decides, now is the time I'm going to start it. And he has started it, and to his fans' delight, to the whale's delight, because he is getting paid to play it, but he still fucking hates it. Uh, what are your thoughts on this one, though, Meerkat? Oh, I don't know, man. Um, it's clear he hates playing it every single moment. He gets handheld through it. He's built some narrative that people are mad at him. Uh, the trolls are mad at him because yes. the playthrough is such a groundbreaking, super successful playthrough. And he had to cope over being wrong about it fundamentally about winning game of the year. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know about the, the placing on the tier list. I would just say it's a very signature DSP thing. It, it really kind of shows you how he acts in regards to his business and games that coming out and hype and all that stuff. It kind of encapsulates it pretty good. Mm -hmm. But I, I don't think it's too hype. And seeing that it's still going on, I don't really know how to grade it. I, I would say maybe a B. Okay, B. I'm trying to think of myself where this lands because it is a good ex explanation for anyone that hasn't seen what Phil is all about to watch that saga unfold. He's right about everything. I have some strong opinions. Everyone's fucking wrong. Turns out everyone else is right. Then he decides to do the thing he said he would never do because it's unavoidable at this point, similar to Minecraft. We've seen this story unfold before. Uh, I probably agree with B. What do you think, Aquatil, though? Uh... I probably put it uh, high B, low A, just because, like you know, it's like he, it will never win Game of the Year, and then it wins Game of the Year, and now he's got FOMO and he he needs to play it. Uh -huh. So it's just like, dude, it's classic DSP. Mm -hmm. But it's mm -hmm. like, it's a uh, since this is an ongoing situation. I like you said, I really don't know how to properly grade this. So, <laughs> all right, uh, let's let's put it on let's put it on B to start. Then I think B is a good place for Baldur's Gate. That feel, I think C feels a little too low, but. Baldur's Gate is there. Um, we do have a few minor ones to get through quickly here. We do have his return to uh, alcoholism in the form of $100 <laughs> shots. Let Please make me drink. Uh, I would suggest this is probably a D as it's not, it's, it's, it's funny, but it's not like long last or anything, but I'll say D. What do you think Meerkat for his, his yeah. weaponized alcoholism of whale tail? Uh, yeah. The people on Twitter wanted us to mention this. I think it's really detestable. Because he talks about how alcoholism almost ruined his life and it was the most miserable time of his life. And now he's just casually taking shots for money on stream to the point where it's actually just the selling point of the stream. He's going to be drinking today, guys. Yes. So you should show up and support him so he gets to drink more. Also known as he gets to indulge in the addiction that almost ruined his life. Mm -hmm. uh, pretty detestable. So I'm going to go D for detestable. All right. That's where I put it too. Akutila, what are your thoughts? Yeah, I would agree with D. It's it's a uh, it's pretty on brand for DSP saying, "Oh, I'm as a former alcoholic." Like, no, dude, there's no such thing as a former alcoholic. Mm -hmm. If you're mm -hmm. an alcoholic, you're an alcoholic for life. Yep. And the fact that he keeps denying, "Oh, I was a former alcoholic," and but yeah, here, give me a hundred dollars and I'll drink on stream. I'm like, dude, that's not what alcoholic like recovering alcoholics do at all. And it's and he it's so. The worst part for me is how he does use it as a, a marketing tool, you know, and he always like says mm. it this the most cringe way possible. I'll be drinking booze, and he loves to use booze, and it's so annoying. I don't know why, but yeah, there'll be booze. Hello, there's gonna be booze. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> and then there, there's a point where, like, there was one t I, I caught that earlier this year where he said something about him and Cat like to drink after his stream sometimes. Uh, yep, yep, mm -hmm. yeah. 
So, and I was like, former alcoholic, and him and his wife indulge in alcohol after his streams. Okay, yeah. that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> well, that that kind of sounds to me like an excuse for him drinking without feeling guilty about being a former al alcoholic. Because when mm -hmm. you do it with somebody else, you don't you don't feel as guilty. But when oh, you do yeah. it by yourself, it, it kind of gets to you. Yeah, I can remember. Okay, because I'm I am alcoholic. I can know that one of the games you do is to get people hanging out. Like, hey, you guys want to drink? And then once they get okay, that means you can do it too because you convince them to do it. So, hey, Kat, you want to have some holiday drinks? Come on. She says yes, and then it's go time, boys. Get crack open the whale tail and let the party start. You know what I'm saying? They go in different rooms though. She goes to Skyrim, her office to play Skyrim. He goes into his office to you know to WB Champions Winter Events, but. We leave that part of the story out. It's not important anyway. Uh, yeah. But anyways, obviously the interview is here as well, but we all know that gets its own tier. Above S tier, it is in God tier. I don't know where that's going to go, but that is God tier. Uh, we did, I did not, we not do the Machinima Reacts. I guess that's the last one we could talk about. Machinima React, you remember that one? He, it was just him showing past emails, which is fine though, because the company doesn't exist anymore. So you can just say whatever the fuck yeah. you want. And uh, he thought he was the winner in this exchange, even though the part that I remember best was he signed a contract without knowing anything that was in that contract. In that contract, it included that you do have to put their bumper of Machinima. Phil said, uh, I don't do this. I, 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 let me tell you, I'm the talent. <laughs> You think they asked Tom Cruise to edit the movie for them? No. And that was many years ago he said that. But he was talking about that <laughs> during his Machinima time. I kind of roped that in together. Uh, Machinima React was cool. I'd say probably a, a C or D, though. But what do you think? <laughs> yeah, uh, I agree. Yeah. C or D. Um, it was cool. Really but... nothing, nothing remarkable to me. Mm -hmm. but All right, Aquatio, any some, final Some fun moments, I yeah. can agree. Yeah. What do you think, uh, Aquatio? Anything to add there? No, not really. It's yeah. it was a nothing burger in the grand scheme of things. It was just mm -hmm. DSP doing another debunk segment. <laughs> yeah, his famous debunks. Uh, big ups to UNFW in the houses. I don't know if you've had the trolls made him play Amnesia: The Bunker Saga. Oh, that was a minor saga where the trolls yeah. made me play something. Yeah, yeah. You know we're gonna forget some I, stuff. <laughs> I, I, I oh yeah, and the Final Fantasy minor ones. The, uh, yeah, I was gonna say the yeah, Final Fantasy ahead, sixteen ahead. hate. <laughs> Final Fantasy 16, hey. Right. Yeah, see, yeah. there's so many. We could be here all day. <laughs> uh, Whoa, Moses in the house. Legendary screen name says, Phil is ranked four in the current Champions event. Expect the begging to be off the chain. Tis the season. Big ups to the 2BS crew. Big ups, Whoa, Moses. And he is fourth in the current Champions event. Uh-oh. Come on, Philip. You can't get fourth place, dude. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I guess now is the time for some uh, honorable mentions before we yes. dive into what the interview was. Yes. I see in chat the, the suggestion box. Mm -hmm. That is a pretty that's decent true. gimmick, pretty entertaining. Yep. I would say, I don't know, that's somewhere on the list. Yeah, uh, that does. B it, or C, something mm -hmm. like that. Yeah, I agree. Could be there for sure. Yeah, then we got the, the cat photos. We were kind of involved in that. Yeah. We, we <laughs> shit the bit on that. that. But, <laughs> you know, we fucking own up to it. Yes. ALT, you handle that shit. Thank you. We we're good with it. No drama. No yeah. bullshit. We we everybody has to go through something like this. When you're a content creator, you get your your first controversy. Uh -huh. You know, baby's first controversy, and <laughs> happy, that was yes. it. You know, uh, the the photos were pretty shit, but hey, we got something to talk about. Yes, there you go. Uh, it did prove, unfortunately, that's cats cats. Uh, let's say her robustness has been proven again for sure. I think that's the least I could say, uh, for sure. And su suggestion box again was a good one. The it, the the anything else we're missing though? Uh, I don't mention Aquatil. You think? I think we hit a lot of it, but so, some people in the chat are reminding me. Yeah, the Willow Sub Saga, um, the crying at the end of Chrono Trigger. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's good. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> styrofoam. We didn't really talk about the styrofoam as well. The styrofoam was in his house, stock so stacked so high in his garage. He could not replace the light bulb. That's how high the styrofoam was stacked <laughs> in his garage. Dude, that reminds me of some dudes that I was um, I was friends with in university that had pizza boxes so high that you couldn't get to the other part of the room. And they couldn't even <laughs> fucking throw them out. That's how many pizza boxes they had. And this is like college dudes. And what we're talking about here is like a 41-year-old family man. So this is fucking fantastic. <laughs> Those, those uh, so anybody in chat that yeah. wants to to throw out an honorable mention, we can we we can talk about it. We got the Arkham edits, you know, Arkham, the guy who um, was doing I think um, YouTube Shorts for yes. DSP he was yep. doing the edits, mm -hmm. and then he dared 
to ask for some kind of a financial compensation. Uh, I think, Aquatil, you kind of know a little bit about this. Can you share with us? Yeah, I was a restraining Corona Trigger, and he came into my chat. Mm -hmm. And I said, I noticed him, and I said, hey, Arkham, like, I don't, uh, welcome to the stream, I guess. Um, I, and I said, then we were watching the stream, and then later on, I said, Arkham, if that's, you're actually the real Arkham, because I thought it was a sock. Yeah, yeah. You should go, you should go to DSP and ask him for money. And, uh, and he's like, okay, I will. And then apparently he did. <laughs> <laughs> So there you go. Aqua Teal had a big yep. hand in that. <laughs> nice. Also, um, yeah, big ups for that. You you tell him what is rightfully he should do uh -huh. because uh, the dude I think was um, I think he's like 15 years old or something. So clearly, it's it's a teenager guy. He kind of fell for the whole DSP scam. He started believing him too much. Mm -hmm. Um, but something really interesting in that saga was when Arkham sent him an email that was written in. I think, quote unquote, correct English or something uh -huh. like that. And DSP thought there was something fishy in that. Because, man, <laughs> he didn't he didn't use to write in correct English. So he thought it was a troll. Uh -huh. uh, there, there you go. <laughs> a, a fun little side story. Well, big ups. Aqua Teal definitely leaving her mark on 2023 there. Nice. You were <laughs> big hand in that. Uh, Zombie Jesus. Yes, that was interesting. The Dutch Brothers. Uh, Phil made a joke uh, saying that Jesus was kind of a zombie. Because he, you yep. know, was risen <laughs> from his grave, and uh, he's kind of a zombie. Dutch brothers, who Christian Christian brothers, uh, did not appreciate that comment, and they haven't been back. Uh, so that's kind of funny. <laughs> so yep. uh, De Derek got D Derek got doxed and uh, proceeded to say words such as uh, this, uh, whatever their name, whatever whoever the fuck said. Uh, he's saying my real address, one two three Maple Street Lane. He's. Could you please delete the <laughs> statement? Could you delete the comment that says one two three Maple Street Lane? <laughs> so, and, 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 at some point, Derek had so much power in that chat that he could just write at DSP Gaming. Get rid of this person. <laughs> it's like he was calling a hit on somebody. Like he's, he's a gang leader boss. or something. Yeah. Get hey, rid of him. At DSP Gaming. I don't like seeing him. <laughs> I'm going to need you yeah, to native, take care of somebody. <laughs> yeah, go native ahead. Mamba on the chat says, I thought Arkham's brothers, Arkham's brothers also around the same time did say that, yes. Yes. Yeah. So, <laughs> so it, there, there was a, quite a few people telling Arkham to ask DSP for payment, not just me. <laughs> Bob Starsky pointing oh, out the cherry pimps. Nice. Yeah, cherry pimps was some was was a mention of the year as well. Uh, mango yeah. flavored ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> we could go on forever. The magic doesn't end. Uh, but uh, real quick, I guess before we move on to our interview segments, we're all going to play our favorite moments and talk about them as well. I do want to show real quick, real quick. I can't not show it. Uh, check out the new event on WB Champions. The Massive <laughs> Meaty Man Flash Fuse! <laughs> Let's go! Let's go! Get your money out! <laughs> this is legit. This is real. This is real! <laughs> We got the who Christmas fucking... marathon. It's right here. You think <laughs> this is a joke? Who, who, who thought of this fucking name? Massive plus, meaty man. <laughs> fucking plus Snoop Dogg dancing in the background <laughs> yeah, is just Snoop Dogg is the best. Snoop Dogg. Hey champions, the Allzilla from down under is here. A massive win for the champions community and the game. A massive win. <laughs> <laughs> it's a massive win, dude. Get fucking hype. Can you believe it? Dude, I mean, can we end this? I gotta go. I gotta get in on this. Massive oh, meaty dude. man. <laughs> yes. Oh, God. Remember, everyone tipping today, what you're tipping towards, not that you're here, but anyways, what they are tipping towards today is the massive meaty man. Last dudes, yes, and a dancing Snoop Dogg. <laughs> That's the like music on the kid, dude. The, the way the way it's like massive meaty man, and then you you see he's from down under. So you got the meaty man coming from down under, dude. You, you know exactly what they're talking yeah. about. I need that. Yes. All right. Let's move on positively. What a fine. I'm glad I searched right there. All right. Shit, All right. Dude. Next on the docket today is a video from 
the one, the only, the amazing creator goes by the name of Jay Doing Things. And they won the competition, mind you, for the Jintro. And they have created something special uh, for us here, Christmas style. I do have to say I helped uh, with this as well. My voice, I believe, is used. I have not seen this, though. I just did the voice, voice requested of me and moved on. Uh, so let's enjoy here. This is Jay Doing Things with Liquid Phil's Christmas Appeal. Here we fucking go. For most people, Christmas is a time of joy, a time for laughter, and a time for love. But it's also a time to be thankful for what we have in our lives and to think about those who are less fortunate than us. Each year, more and more streamers are struggling to cope with the cost of new games, DoorDash deliveries, and money for their day off. This Christmas, it's time to shine a light on the dark side of life. Oh, tip twice. Cause I got two big bills to pay, so some support would be nice. Oh, tip twice. A super chat, a super sticker, a super thing. For only sixteen fifty one a month, you can swing by and support streamers in me. It's the season of pulling. The line is now open, so please donate if you can. Thank you in advance. Oh, that reminds me of another side saga where DSP got butthurt about that video. Oh, yeah, you're right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we're, not, we're not done, though, yet. I was promised we're not done. Now, guys, I'm not sure what's going on, but support is really slow tonight. Nothing I could do about that. I am staying extra late for you guys tonight. Any kind of support is appreciated, but tips are the liquidity of my business. I mean charity. It's just another day of balls and gin and games to play. Dude! What? <laughs> Donating now may make your streamer feel entitled to your life saving, your entire payday, and your rainy day fund. Your streamer may develop delusions of grandeur, excessive narcissistic traits, and turn into a dislikable, <laughs> arrogant, and selfish person. Tipping may cause an increase in DoorDash deliveries, gin consumption, and excessive WWE champions pulls. Source acts not included. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, dude. 12 seconds left. 12 seconds left. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing, dude. Incredible. All right, that link, yeah, I'll put the link in chat now. That is live. Please go sub to them. It's Give them fantastic. all your likes and comments. Amazing. That was hilarious. Big ups. <laughs> it was the best. Incredible. Huge shout out to Adlar. This is the guy that, that portrays DSP, that DSP called them uglier than him, which uh -huh. is absolutely <laughs> categorically false. Adlar is a true. beautiful human being. And this. he's also rocking our merch. He's rocking the flare up yes, merch. Yes, this dude's a legend, <laughs> yeah. man. Never forget Adlar. Legend right here. And Phil, again, Aqua Teal, that was a good good shout out there for the AVGN uh, style intro they did. And Phil said, What? Mm -hmm. the, the guy trying to parody me has a worse hairline than me and is fatter than me. Figure that one out. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it, it's almost like he's cast to play a specific role, Phil. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's there to and be there... funny. <laughs> yeah. And there was another video, too. Uh, I forget who made it, but it was like a parody of his uh, cup noodles. And DSP, like, raged about that, too. Yeah, that was Mr. Ludicrous. So again, was yeah. making yep. videos for 10 years on Phil. And uh, he, he, you know, co pointed out the fact that Phil used a spoon for cup noodles, which is, again, extremely, extremely special. And uh, Phil's like, it's not even funny. Like, I feel like people don't get what parody means. Like, I think you don't know what parody means. I mean, come on, man. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. All right. So next up, we're going to get into the interview fun. And we're going to start with Steve's, um, Steve's choice, of course. Wish Steve could be here, of course. But we do have his choice in here. I do have a video of his reaction. Let me start first with the moment, and then we'll move on. Ooh. Let me just uh, yes, ahead, really please. gently drop some keys in chat. I'm going to notify people I'm doing Amazing. it. And, please do. Uh, yeah, th there are going to be some leftover keys that I think we're going to... Um, we can post in a community post or something. I tried to give away the most hype games that I've heard about and yeah. are pretty reputable. 
And the rest of them are gonna be giving away. Don't uh, don't worry about it, guys. Yep. Uh, let me here. Okay, cool. All right, so here is. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Here is Steve's moment here from the interview. And uh, just take a second. I'm sure you'll get what he's talking about here. Let's go. Experience I could have been having for years and years. And instead, I sat there making dumb jokes instead of actually making meaningful content. So I what, love what my is, job now. What does meaningful mean? What does that, like, <laughs> walk me through. What does that mean? You feel like you're, like, is this, you say you have, your your audience is your friends, right? You feel like you have a. a Hold you know, on. <laughs> I've seen clips of you say that that, you know, your audience is not your friends, right? So, like, is it. Are they your friends or are they not your friends? Are they because you're kind of speaking of, on, you know, mm -hmm. just based off clips I've seen. Sure. Um, you're kind of speaking of both both sides of your mouth here. My, my audience are not close personal friends. I'm not going to come <laughs> on stream and tell you about super important behind the scenes stuff in my life. You know what I'm saying? At the same time, I'm here six days a week. This is my this is my social interaction outside of my wife. And the one day a week that I leave this house to, to, to do stuff when I'm not streaming. This right here, this laptop, this chat is my social interaction with the world. Oh. So that is me being friendly with people. That's oh. as if you were, you know, you go to your place of work. Hi, how you doing? Your coworkers, right? You walk in, you hang out with them or whatever. It's kind of what it, it kind of feels like a camaraderie um, with regulars. And, you know, there's people who come in and out all the time and that, that's the nature of the beast. But um, I really do feel like today it's more meaningful what I do. There's, mm -hmm. again... Back in the day, people would say, Phil, I loved your content because I got to laugh today watching you rage. Today, it's like, Phil, let me tell you something. Something horrible happened in my life. And I came by your stream, and I hung out with you for two hours today. You were playing Oblivion. We talked. I helped you with the game. We had fun conversation about something going on on the internet. All right, so that's, that, we kind of got the point. So Steve's favorite moment was when Phil admitted to the world that this, this right here, this stream chat, that's my interaction with the world. And, like, he didn't think that's something that's very sad to actually say out loud yeah. and you he doesn't even answer the moment. question <laughs> i mean yeah a lot of a lot of uh you know obviously we're going to get into a few of our favorite moments but this was like one of the a good case of this happened many times in the interview would phil say something that he thinks is okay to say or be normal to say when really if that's what you're feeling that's it's not a healthy thought at all you know what i mean to think my interaction with the world is jade Derek. Slayer and fourteen thousand LARPers. I mean, that's it, right? Pretty it's, much. I mean, yeah. it's crazy. Uh, but here we go. Let's get Steve's thoughts on that in video form. Steve of the bed, we should say. Okay, so uh, my favorite moment in the interview is actually quite an understated one. There are quite a few big ones that are well worth going into, but there is a brief moment where. Um, Adam and Craig are grilling Phil about his, uh, his, you know, his relationship with the audience and, you know, whether it's appropriate or not and all that stuff. And Phil mentions that um, apart from his wife, his laptop, his stream, his chat is his connection to the world. That is it. That is his only source of socialising that he has. And it is fucking incredible for me because so much of in my opinion at least, so much of Phil's issues, his problems, the, 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 the root of everything that is wrong with him is because he doesn't socialise, like, at all. Most of us socialise, we are social creatures. You know, isolation is a war crime. Solitary confinement is a war crime for a reason. We are social creatures and we need to, to socialise with other people. And it's not just because, you know, interacting with other people is good and that's how we keep friends and maintain social relationships. It's because it's how we define ourselves as well. So much of how we choose to define ourselves is influenced by the social interactions we have with other people. We might adjust our behaviours or start getting into things because, you know, a person that we like likes this band, so we'll start liking the band as well. We'll get into that sort of music, change the way we dress. We might go uh, indulge in other hobbies because some of our friends like doing it and, you know, we think, oh, well, they like doing it. There must be something to it. I'll get into it as well. And that's how you end up with a group of people you can play D&D with, for example. It's so much of our social identity is constructed through our interactions with other people. So the fact that Phil can't interact with them, doesn't interact with them, is like an incredibly huge red flag. So, yeah, just seeing that moment sort of justified everything for me. It made me feel validated because I've been a huge proponent of Phil needing to socialise more. And for him to admit that was... <laughs> I lost my shit when me and Scott were watching it. So, yeah, um... That's my moment. That's my reason why. And uh, back to the show. I've got to go do other things. Bye. 
There we go. Steve of the Dead yep. sharing his thoughts. But I think we could do didn't a little... They, go ahead, Meerkat, Didn't please. they tell him to, to go seek therapy right after th that statement? Well, I think that was their advice. I could answer that question, Meerkat, but I think it might be better to have someone else answer that question. Oh, Someone you might know. It's oh, do I know him? It's time for our special hmm. guest to join us. The one, the only, Steve of the bed get in here there he is he lives hello <laughs> hey steve <laughs> Merry Christmas, steve, please say your mic oh is working god. oh my god he is here is that's yeah. steve's music what's up man how you feeling i'm good i'm good um i think that's still the painkillers more than anything else but yeah uh-huh i'll get his mic yeah. going up here you are a legend <laughs> it's been so long How's it feel to be gone from this? I know every week you always get some, you have to at least comment in the chat, but how's it feel to be gone this long, you know, <laughs> from the madness? Yeah, it's, I've, I've really missed it. It's It's been really weird to have like this thing as part of your life and then for a period you have to leave it. Mm -hmm. And you're like, oh God, I do miss like chatting shit about him for a bit. It was fun. <laughs> so, yeah. God, awesome, awesome. Yeah, well, happy to be back. Thanks. Yes. And we should point out this does not mean Steve is back, you know, coming back every week yet. You're still yeah. not in that zone yet, right? Right, Steve? Yeah, yeah, this is all like because it's Christmas and because so many people message me and say like, how are you doing? And hope you're doing well. And I just like to start like give something back, even if it's just for a couple of minutes. So yeah, this is just for now. Um, but it will give us a better idea of like how I'm doing and how likely I am to be able to come back at a certain time. So yeah, some point in the future, I will be back. Yeah, but for now, this is just a, like a special one off thing. Awesome. Yeah, awesome, man. Dude. What 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 you went through is like really serious, really hard hitting, and I'm I'm really glad to have you back here. Just to to chat to you for a little bit. People are super excited to have you back, so I, I'm glad you're here with us on this uh, special occasion, dude. Special oh, occasion style. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm start crying at a bit. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Get it. <laughs> 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 uh, we do have to, I know, I don't want to go too far back, but I know the, the the one moment this year that was very close to your heart was the, was the Jasper, right? So yeah. I don't want to get your, get, just get a few thoughts out of the Jasper here, the, the blood work upsell. We need to hear it here before we end this episode for sure. And we're still going to get to all that uh, interview moments for sure. But Steve, what are your thoughts on the Jasper upsell thing, please? Um, yeah, that. I took that quite personally because I'd also been to the vets with my cat and for exactly the same thing. She needed blood work and I paid for it. And, you know, now I, I know more about how my cat's health is doing. So to hear him go, we don't need it. It wasn't needed. He didn't even know the medical history of Jasper. He knew mm -hmm. that he'd had UTIs, didn't mention them, didn't know anything that would help the vet. So when they're saying, we, you know, we would recommend this. And he's like, nah, fine. Don't want to, you're upselling <laughs> me. The management agrees with me, by the way, that that vet was in the wrong yeah <laughs> um so yeah anyway i've got like more money than that to spend on a joystick that i don't need and so yeah it all just sort of snowballed into over 12 hours of video <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah and yeah just it just makes you show how how you care about your pets is obviously a personal choice but when you share it so blazingly that you would just choose to believe an upsell than just to choose to believe someone whose job it is to tell you to worry about your cat. I mean, it says something about your person, your, your, what kind of person you are, you know? And I don't care if you don't care about cats or whatever. I mean, that's fucked up. That's fucked up, you know? Think about that. T going in there to something you say is your son. This yeah. is not some yeah, farm not. cat. You know, you, you, you throw a few <laughs> food out there every night and you maybe see him <laughs> once a week. Some people have cats like that on the farm, whatever. This is a mm -hmm. cat yeah, yeah. that is his son. <laughs> Yep. It's his son. So you choose to use son when it's good for you, but when the son needs vet vet bills, get the fuck out of here. Upsell me. So I'll, I'll take my second lease on a BMW, though. That was many years earlier. But still, mm. he can get upsell with the best of them. <laughs> to his cat, he can't be upsold. Okay, cool. Very cool. Hey bro, like, like you mentioned earlier, he would rather get a, a new garbage disposal, something that is actually a luxury for most people, seeing how I don't see it in my country at all yeah we don't have them either the <laughs> yeah. not really things you'd have over here just put it in the bin put it in the recycling they are very hype you guys should pick pick up on that they are hype though i don't have an industrial style <laughs> one but i have a normal one <laughs> all right um let's get to our next interview moment so steve's gonna stick with us till we get to the end of the stream here uh, i'm gonna go in uh, uh chronological order from here on out um, so this one it was my favorite moment. Uh oh, I gotta go to this might fuck up, but yep, I went away, but that's fine. I'll come back. Don't worry. 
Uh, we're gonna show you this one. Well, go ahead, it, Meerkat. You know, if if but, you're but, gone, but I, but I want to bring up no like there's still stream. jokes. My bad, so. my bad. Go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, <laughs> if you're gone, the stream is over, like we saw with the marked one episode. So <laughs> we. <know laughs> <you're here>. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you. All right, let me, oh god, here I'll fix that. <laughs> Oh, hey, that's that's I know this dude. Uh -huh. Who's that dude? This is this effeminate man? <laughs> <laughs> Got your manhood. That's mine now. Oh, here we go. I'll get it ready in one second. <laughs> Got your manhood. That's mine now. What's your favorite? Um, you know, honor honorable mention, Steve, <laughs> that we didn't get to. Any honorable mentions we missed that you might uh, think were? Uh, I I gave out a few in chat. Yeah. Okay. Um, I think Derek being banned from Cherry Pimps has been my like particular favorite. <laughs> yeah. That's a good uh, one. Just like, it's the sort of thing we could have covered with Kid Flynn in great detail, but mm -hmm. I'm glad you had the Mark one on at least. Yeah, yeah. We still got to, we're fucking up the website. <laughs> yeah, fuck that. Oh, yeah. That deserves its own one, too. They're fucking up the website. <laughs> Such joy. <laughs> Such magical joy in that. That was really special. They're fucking up his website. <laughs> Magic. All right. Let's get to it. Uh, this was my favorite moment, and I want to talk it up a little bit. This is when the interview for me went from a possibility of a dream to becoming an actual dream, uh, to being the exact thing we all wanted. And I put Meerkat's uh, version of it up here because I think that is the best one, to show the feelings we all had. And I can tell you, when I was doing this, when I was listening to this, I did the exact same thing. You couldn't stay seated, right? Oh, you, you could it on the Discord, didn't you? Yeah, 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 yeah. We had to go on the yeah, Discord, yeah. You couldn't stay seated because it just, it affected you so hard. It, it just, it punched you in the chest. You're like, holy shit, man. This is going to be as good as we hoped. And it was this moment right here. Let's relive it right now. That are made that, um, that don't necessarily, like, they don't fit today. And I want to, I want to play one for you really sure. quick and just kind of get your oh. reaction to this. Okay. So this is, <laughs> oh, this is, go. yeah. So, you know, you know where this is going and I, I want to watch oh, this. So, so we all understand oh, I, what's going oh. on. Here. <laughs> I want to watch this. <laughs> all right, boys, here's the slave trade. We're selling a right off for prop. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he said it. You know how much I love you, right? All right. I gotta hear. Let's get a little bit of the after talk of this fucking money. So. Put the kid in the vehicle. Stay with her. Right. She's too valuable to escape. <laughs> <laughs> you think okay, that was what we're saying? Yeah, so. so 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 what's going on there man like let's let's talk about that like how does that when, when you see that when, when you see that how does that make you feel what are you thinking do you regret that saying that like i want to hear one line then i'm gonna move i promise that edgy sure. humor well first of all i have an honest question for you guys you you now seen it i don't know if adam has ever seen that clip before okay no Is that the first time okay what do you think the joke was there i'm just curious what do you think i was trying to joke about that you're selling that girl to the slave trade <laughs> All right. yep. <laughs> we'll stop it there. But that was with that moment. Holy shit, man! I was like, "This is it. It's real. We're doing it. You know, we're doing it, Peter. You're doing it." Yeah. I was so hyped, and at this moment was was what let us know that holy shit, man, this is good, and it's it, we're in for a treat. That's what I. That's all I could say. But what are your thoughts, Steve? Yeah. I'll go to you first. Oh, shout out to the bit a little bit later on. Yeah, where he's like, ah, ah, you said black. You said black. I didn't say black. Yeah, yeah. I never yeah. thought of that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hang on a Shout second. Shout out for that moment. <laughs> Hang on. Oh, oh, oh. You said black. I never said that. Uh huh. Right, right, right. All right, Aquatia, what are your thoughts at this moment? My moment. <laughs> uh, um, like when I, I I was at work listening to this in the background, and I, mm -hmm. when I heard this, I was like, holy shit. He he, like I I couldn't. <laughs> I was just like stunned. <laughs> yeah, I think we all were. Like, <laughs> And Amazing. I was like, wow, like, and then, like, I, I posted this clip onto my channel as a clip from this interview. And mm -hmm. to this day, I still get people in my comment section defending DSP. And I'm like, how can you defend DSP from this? Honestly, what's your angle? I don't know. What, what is your angle? <laughs> you know, like, I have no here's the thing. The, the whole point of why I thought they brought this up was to show that he hasn't really changed from back in the day. Yeah, this was a 
yeah. very very recent clip oh yeah and yeah. I, yeah, yeah. I see a lot of people in the in the side scrollers comments that are saying that this was the worst part and that they shouldn't have called him out on this because it's, it's not racist it was yeah. just a joke was, but the, the, the point is not that it's racist the point is that he's just the same dude he used to be back in the day and he just can't help himself yeah because this was a comment that just came out of nowhere off the top of his head so we you know he's thinking about this kind of stuff Oh, absolutely. This is his but you know he's yeah, go ahead. You know he's thinking about this stuff because he's like he tries to goad them into saying the, you know, black. He tries to goad them into doing that because he's <laughs> oh. like, Oh, what do you think? You know, what are you saying, really? You mm -hmm. know, he's he's trying to lead them into saying it so he doesn't have to and he's got his prepared defense. He absolutely knew that this was wrong and he fucked up. And the point is that like he has not changed at all. Mm -hmm. The fact that you could say ten years ago racist jokes, it was just a style at the time, it's a character I've changed, I've grown blah blah blah. Oh, this was within a year, you know? The best yeah, part yeah. He's like a couple of days before this interview is one of the clips I mentioned earlier about the, calling the Asian woman jailbait. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. so, <laughs> it was literally, literally days before this interview. This was a and very, if, yeah. <laughs> and and then, like later on in this clip, DSP goes on to say, oh, the I was making a joke about because, you know, the, the cop is evil. And uh, but the thing is, at that point in the game, you didn't know that. So he's yeah. literally <laughs> retconning it. Hey, you don't know that. <laughs> And <laughs> that was a great fucking video choice, by the way. Best video choice ever, because like Meerkat said, they did that just to call out, the, to go against the shit that DSP was trying to spill them the whole fucking time. Like, that was a long time ago, guys. I've changed. And it's like, okay, well, let's get to something from 2022, shall we? And then he has, <laughs> what do you think? Hold on a second. What do you think that was? What do you think that was? But anyways. Amazing. That's moment. right. A slavery joke. Why do you think I made that slavery joke? <laughs> huh? Huh? Well, there what is... was it about that girl specifically no, that no, made you no. think? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So, well, yeah. recently he on the RoboCop stream he made another similar joke. It was like this young black kid. He he got caught stealing a RoboCop, and his buddy were talking to him and said, you know, um, the kids like, are you going to arrest me? And the the sidekick guy's like, no, you learned your lesson. Yes, but no, arrest him. And then <laughs> and then. <laughs> and then <laughs> And then he goes on to say, if you don't arrest him, he'll turn into delinquency or something like that. And I was like, oh. Does he deserve a, to be arrested or just a warning? Nice. Hey, Phil, have you ever read the bell curve? <laughs> <laughs> big ups that, so big ups everybody for the contributions i will read i'll read a few out here so we got root trauma 96 says i would love to see phil do day-to-day -day human style stuff that normal style humans do i mean obviously that's it's always goal that's what we wanted the law account podcast to be just them talking but and it would have been incredible because even from the stuff he tells us he can't deal with any humans anymore it just doesn't happen anymore there's no there's nothing that happens there. He can't handle it. So it would be fun. Dude, I was shopping the other day and I had to leave the cart for a moment. And I was like, <laughs> yeah. just imagine. <laughs> you start thinking. I saw an empty cart. Recent, when it, just when it was still recent. I saw an empty cart with some stuff in it. And you just start thinking, like, I could change this stream. What if this is a streamer? I could change their life right now. I'll just yeah. move it. <laughs> you, know? you thought about it, but I didn't do it. I didn't do it. <laughs> Uh, big ups to uh, Utterly Insane. So TJ Gamebox updated WWE Champion spending. Ooh, okay. Let's check that out. Mm -hmm. uh, Chris Dorner in the house. Amazing member bonds, my friend. Thanks so much, Chris. You are a legend. Thanks so much for the positivity on Christmas. No, 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 no. Yes. Not, not, not Chris Dorner. Chris Dorner respect. Uh, excuse we me. We don't want to give shout outs to Chris <laughs> Dorner himself. Not Chris... a very positive human. Uh, Chris okay, Dorner. Name, res well, is respect her much better? <laughs> <laughs> it's not him it's yeah. not the guy okay so uh the, speaking of the tj game box update real yes, quick please. i pulled it up please uh so tj has um his latest update is that down from the rafters is number seven on the latest event Ooh. so he made it to top 10 and yeah. uh, tj yeah, also yes. says if he didn't get the bronson reed card which is bronson reed is a wrestler it's a it's a character in the game he spent a thousand and ninety three dollars. If oh. he did get it, he spent only seven hundred and eighty one. Oh, okay. so only again, well, that's huge fine. positivity. <laughs> oh, that's fine. <laughs> He's got to get the you know the events. Come on, we don't mess around. We got to get the massive meaty man. <laughs> yeah, the massive meaty man. Yeah. Come on, what's wrong with you? <laughs> I'm I'm younger, dude. <laughs> when Scopely drops bombs like this, you you react. That's where you have to react. <laughs> 
All right, let's move on. Sleep dogs on screen, so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Stop chewing. Eisenhorn in the house says, big up, Steve. Big ups, Eisenhorn. Back to you. Big Christian up. C says, happy to see Steve. Wishing you well into 2024. Big ups, Christian C. Big ups to Jay Louise and Eric. And Chris Dorner, respect her again. <laughs> Dropping massive bombs, and this time I will put respect in the name. Chris Dorner, respecter. You are a legend. Thank you, sir. Uh, all right, let's go to the next moment. This time we're going to go to the moment of Meerkat Mob. We're going to go to his stream again for this. Oh, I That's love the, this one so much. This is the best representation I would also like it. to plug myself real quick. Yes. I put in um, significant effort into like time stamping pretty much anything that means anything on that oh, screen. God, yeah, look yes. Like, so yes. the time stamps are super, super robust. Yes. So if you need to find something, you can hit it up. I don't talk at all during the whole stream, so you can just go clip whatever, find whatever, you know, go have fun. Yeah, this is a massive uh, boon for the community to find things from the interview in the quickest way possible. You don't have to tra tra script, uh, search for transcripts. You can literally just go to see the one you want. And he's all time stamped in here too. So for research, this is where you want to be. So big ups, Meerkat, for that. But let's get to it. I won't even say what it is because you'll know it right away. So let's just get into it. Thing is, right, like leading up to this, I was, uh, you know, the, the idea of what doxing is, right, like, Leading up to this, I was asking people, like, I want to know who I'm getting my information from. People are like, you're doxing us. Well, no, I was asking to, to see who I was speaking to. I feel doxing is putting personal information out on the internet for people to find, for people to see, um, and uh, that, that normally wouldn't be available to people, right? And you have been doxed. Your personal information has been oh. put out. Uh, like, why do I know that your personal <laughs> phone number is tied to this account, right? Like, you know, your, your address, you know, all these things. It's, it's, it's insane. But you have also been accused of not necessarily doxing, but <laughs> um, but holding the information of that you have over people's heads. And I, I wanted to kind of show you this clip real sure. quick, and then, then sure. we can talk about this. Yeah, sure. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> yeah, the fact that his fucking Twitter account <laughs> is the same exact avatar <laughs> that he's fucking using for this troll account on my website. Oh, well, by the way. I have your IP, I have your name, and I have your address. <laughs> Congratulations. You fucked up. You really did. Be awesome one on Twitter. I have all your fucking personal information. Now, I'm going to say I this. Real quick, I love how Phil leans in for this and starts nodding like, okay, uh-huh. I'm analyzing this. I'm internalizing this. Watch, Phil. Look at his little nose on the side here. He goes right close to the screen. Watch. IP, I have your name, Processing. and I have your address. So, congratulations. <laughs> you it. fucked uh -huh. up. Okay. You uh -huh. really did. Be awesome one on Twitter. I have all your fucking personal information. Now, I'm going to say this up front. Uh -oh. I'm not going to give it out. I'm not going to give it out. This is not a doxing video. I do not condone it. I will never give out someone's <laughs> personal information or anything like that whatsoever. <laughs> However, understand something. I got you. Oh. How about the fact that <laughs> okay. Okay. Do you think okay. that's okay? <laughs> it's all right. Wait, wait. The question. I want to make sure we all understand the question. Do you think that is okay? That is the question yeah. presented. Let's hear Phil's response. Steve, looks like you want to say something though first. No, 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 <laughs> okay. no. Here is <laughs> trying to hold it in. It, it is, do you think that is okay? Keep that in your mind. That's the question we have to answer. Let's go. How are we going to answer this? It sounds like a threat, right? That's the first time I've sure actually does. heard this clip since I said it. Pretty actually. sure it was a threat. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. That, that is definitely a threat. That is, I mean, okay. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's not. <laughs> like, he was so quick to agree with Adam there, but then he's like, okay, wait, wait. No, it's not, actually. Hold on. <laughs> God. All right, one more time. We have to hear it again. Here we go. One more time. Then we'll move on, though, positively. It sounds like a threat, right? That's the first time I've actually sure heard this clip since I said it. Pretty sure it was a threat. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that, that, that is yeah, definitely yeah. a threat. That is, I mean, okay. No, it's not. <laughs> My kind of goes back to, I, you know, you know, 
wants to agree so hard. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, first, no, it's not. <laughs> Do we, do an we, amazing we, sign of like it's an, it's an example of like how narcissistic thinking warps things because he's like how do I make this incredibly bad thing sound okay <laughs> it's not a threat <laughs> simple that's genius can, can you play the next like 30 seconds yeah stop? sure because sure, they sure. Keep, keep they they press him on it okay a dark joke you yeah it was way, it a dark a joke way. what I what what I was getting at in that clip was this oh. is someone who had hurt me. I don't know if you want to get into the specifics of what they had done. <laughs> oh, okay. Point, right? Okay, okay. Um, really badly. It's actually one of the things that have actually actually hurt my business overall financially since then. Okay, I've never. So really it justifies it. it. No, it doesn't justify. <laughs> that's what you're, that's, you're you wouldn't have said it. Up. Yeah, get fucked. <laughs> Why would you say that if it's not trying to justify it, motherfucker? Adam owning it. Otherwise, it justifies it. No, it doesn't justify. That's what you're. That's why you wouldn't have said it otherwise. <laughs> it, it got me that angry. It got me that angry. They had actually hurt me so bad for no reason. I don't even know who that guy is. All right. And the only reason I knew is because someone had found that information, sent it to me. I didn't find it myself. And oh, what? <laughs> it doesn't matter how you got the information. That's the best. I didn't find it myself though. I will show this. I know who you are, motherfucker. Don't you forget it. I didn't find it though. I didn't find it. <laughs> I will use it. Yeah. If you give it to me, I will use it. I don't care. Uh, yeah. We need to listen to more Meerkat. What do you Amazing. think? We, I, we could do all day. Let, let's hear a little. Well, let, let's hear the end of this kind of this this exact question. Okay. Mm. Let's get to it. I said that on the stream because I was so upset. Uh -huh. Essentially, the, what I the, what I was, should have said <laughs> was. See, he was caught there. Like, what? How can I get out of this? What I was trying, what I was trying to say, that I can't say that. What I meant to say, all right, I can't say that. What I was getting at, or <laughs> I can't say that. What I was trying, if I could go back, this is what I would say instead. Is where we ended up. But let's hear what he was. <laughs> you know, this is a situation. You hurt me so bad. I don't know who you are, and you know, I think I'm going to go to the authorities with this. That's what I should. <laughs> That's not what you said, bro. <laughs> you're right. One hundred percent. You're right. I never, so, I never doxed so that So it guy. was a threat. Yeah, that's Adam saying. Hold on, man. <laughs> Hold on, this motherfucker. Is so is this still a threat? So you admit that it was a threat. It was, it was me <laughs> venting anger. That's a threat, <laughs> dude. It was, it was me, correct. It was me venting anger. Correct. Okay. Very correct. <laughs> Thank you. Correct. Yes, but. <laughs> I, I love the Adam thank you because this is the thank you when when somebody actually agrees to it, you know. <laughs> thank when you. When they acknowledge yes. that you're right. Okay, yeah. thank you. We actually got to the point where you fucking acknowledge it was a threat. <laughs> there we go. Threat. So you admit that it was a threat. It was, it was me uh, venting anger. That's a threat, <laughs> dude. It was it was me correct. It was me venting anger thank in you. a threatening manner. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> close as you can without saying it was a threat well yeah uh but it was a threatening manner <laughs> it That's a lot it. yeah go ahead just okay. like the justification for it it's fine he settled on that justification of okay i've been back into a corner but it was me venting right okay i could use that because everybody has moments of weakness where they uh -huh. just you know say something wrong in anger i'll use that and they're like but it's still a threat. <laughs> so they're still pressing him like, yeah, I was venting in a threatening manner. <laughs> that was the so a threat. <laughs> that was a classic Amazing. one. Uh, that moment has the most, uh, you know, on YouTube, you can see what has the most rewatches. Oh, that the is spikes. The yeah, that's yeah. the top, <laughs> top moment right there. Uh, big up to Chris Dorn, <laughs> respecter again. Says Aqua Teal's laugh is really cute. Big ups, Aqua Teal. Congratulations. Uh, Joe Dub says, it was this and him going full Mickey, Mickey Mouse. While talking to Keemstar about the boxing match was my favorite. Oh yeah, yeah. the pitch of oh, voice. God. Yeah. Uh, is it safe for them? <laughs> is it, I'm just worried about their. They're not pro boxers, Keem. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah, it was like, it was like uh, Keem, you were a person who. <laughs> and then he, he turned that note. It was so good. All right, should we just fucking play it? Why not? We're here now. Keem is about to. <laughs> Keem, uh, okay, where's Keem? Keem joins. Oh, where the fuck is Keem? Here's Keem. Uh, Adam Rose, Ke panel confronts Keem misinformation. Mr. B, ah, okay, I'm not gonna, oh, Lockout Boxing, more Lockout's talk. Let's see if this is it. Um, 
so I, I got a question for you, Keem. Is this? I want to hear Phil. You Keem, do you? No, that's fine. Okay. Everyone calls me Keem. All right, all right, <laughs> all right. Is the offer still there for this? Uh, okay, it's not really here. I should. I mean, what should I search in the timestamp, Mirakai? I would say potentially. Uh, I'm I'm trying to find it right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so when I do, I'll tell you exactly the moment okay. you should go. This opportunity. But this was an amazing and segment. As I'm well, setting up a complete boxing subservience match between the two of them. Yeah, yeah. And I'm going to break the internet. Just totally the, right. the social lower in this one. Oh, he, he God, knows. yes. Keem is like the higher in this one. <laughs> this is an awesome opportunity for Wings, an awesome opportunity for Boogie. Phil is so checked out, you know? Like, he <laughs> just does not want to be here. Looking out, Quarter Demon is getting like a stare down. Um, <laughs> this is going to be broadcasted on May 13th. So disgusting. And I haven't even announced this anywhere yet. This is an Way. exclusive. It's going to be free to watch. Oh, shit. It's going to be free to watch. <laughs> and can I, can I ask a question? Oh, here we go. Yeah, oh, here we go. Oh, I am it's, a guest, right? Of course. Oh, I am the guest. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> I am your guest, right? Okay, guys. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> I am the guest, right? Like, trying to show he's not happy, you know, make sure everyone fucking knows he's not happy. <laughs> It's She's gonna, gonna reassert some social influence. <laughs> I'm the guest, yeah, remember, yeah, not him. Yeah. Stop letting yeah, him. Yeah. Stop letting him talk. Stop ignoring this cool guy, okay? I'm the guest. <laughs> hey, uh, Alt, I'm gonna send you the the timestamp to a different video because I couldn't find it in the transcript. Of okay, mine. okay. Let, let's hear but, this uh, question. You got it on first. Discord timestamp. All right, I want to hear this question. It's such now, a juicy ass moment. Now dude. we got this question. <laughs> I gotta hear this. Can I ask a question? Yeah. Of course. <laughs> Is it? Yeah. I am the guest, right? I am of course. Guest, okay, yeah, please ask. Yeah. Team, I, you know, again, I understand your reason here. You're saying I'm just making content people want to see, right? Uh huh. Um, is there any line that you won't cross when it comes to content <laughs> that people want to see that you can make profit on? Do you have any kind of restraint? Do you ever feel that morally something is too far? Because I personally and many others hear this about this boxing match coming up. Okay, now let me give you my perspective. Okay. <sighs> okay. Wings of Redemption, Boogie, two desperate guys. We all know they're down on their luck. They could definitely use some money. All right, yeah, I'm not like them. Two guys down on their luck. Not like us successful guys, am I right? You know, there's non lol cows like us. Right, guys? <laughs> right, we all know this. Yes. We probably project that to the <laughs> That's internet. what he's trying to say here. They're both, <laughs> technically, from what we both. can see and understand, they're kind of unhealthy. Maybe not, who knows, but you don't know what they project, correct? <laughs> Do you not feel that having two people like this, overweight, possibly unhealthy, doing a boxing match against each other so that everyone on the internet can laugh at them. Oh, okay. Could possibly, mm -hmm. just possibly, Thanks, moral side be Phil. either putting them in harm's way or maybe be considered morally reprehensible because of the repercussions that could happen during this match. Do you not think they're but, adults that they can make their own? All right, fuck this. We don't care about the response, but... I mean, it's got a fair yeah. point now. <laughs> well, they are adults. Yeah, yeah they, they are they adults. Yeah, they can do whatever the fuck they want. But go ahead, Aqua Deal, sorry. I was going to say, did they... Didn't... Are they physicals? Yeah, they did have physicals. Yes, they did. You cut off her. Yeah, 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 yeah. They did yep. have physicals. And they both lost weight leading up to the match, you know, getting ready for the fucking match, you know? But all right, here's, yeah. here's the here's the. It part. was like Go pretty ahead. much looking at it objectively, it was a net positive for both of them. Yeah. Having that, that fight. There was nothing kind of wrong with it. They got to have a trip to the UK. They got to, you know, have their moment in the ring. They got to, to be offered the Lol Cow podcast. So, the they SP kind of took they got the L on yeah. that. Yeah. Oh yeah, they got paid. Yeah. So you know, and they all th that this yeah, like you said, this kind of led to the Lock Up Podcast being a thing and happening. I mm. think you know it was because that heat, the hype they gained. But here's one more moment of Keem versus DSP. What's you can see they're really two different species here. Podcast about three of us. I didn't know that's what Keem was trying to reach out to me. I, I said maybe that's what it was. I didn't know because I never spoke with him. What a complete idiot. <laughs> Team, you are someone who, when you look at your history on the internet, it's very interesting. And I'm actually, damn, I'm impressed with what you've done. You know what I'm saying? Like, I watched a documentary about you damn. last year. You started off trolling people in Halo. I mean, holy shit. Holy and you shit. turned that into an empire of money on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy. That's so admirable. And if anything, one of the things you absolutely need to be praised for is your determination. You were shut down time after time. False Wait. copyright strikes, real co you know, real sh takedown requests, all kinds of shit. People wanted you off the net, right? You're still there. You never gave up. 
Do you have sounds, that's a success story? That's Phil, it sounds familiar, dude. Yeah. I guess. Same. It <laughs> literally sounds like you. So ah! I'm fishing. <laughs> Took the bite. Real game. I, I mean, I don't know what you guys mean. I guess. I mean. All right. Is that enough, Meerkat, you think? I think that's good. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's move on now to, in chronological order, I chose to do these. And next we have Aqua Teal's moment. And uh, Aqua Teal's moment is special as well. It happened after the official interview. That's a hint for you. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh yes. Oh, we can't forget you, this, can we? You guys, you guys know what's coming. <laughs> we could oh, do yes. Oh, oh my god. god. Merry Christmas, everyone. <laughs> you see, uh, your two leads of this uh, play will be on the bottom of your screen and the right of your screen in that special hat, which is <laughs> smartly put on the thumbnail. If you know what I'm saying. But here we go. Um, I don't know. Like, let, let's. Can I, can, I, can, I do something, can I do something really silly that I wanted of to do? Of course, Of course, I'll do this to the patrons, the guys who support your show, which is with Please. Uh, the day that Dark Side Phil uh, appeared on uh, your show, uh, Side Scrollers, was probably one of the most momentous things that you'll always remember. But for me, uh -oh. it was Thursday. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's a, <laughs> that's a bison cat. Yes, it is. Oh, okay. All right. That's Look, exactly what it is. You've seen this... Action alone is fucking gold. Yeah. Every every single frame of Blab's reaction is is a reaction meme by itself. Yes. It's so good. It's so How magic. This girl was. He puts it over his headphones and he looks very special right now. It, <laughs> Craig takes three seconds to say it's a bison hat. Because <laughs> you know, oh, you know, he oh, immediately a... has to say what it is. Because yeah. otherwise, people are gonna think it's just a Nazi hat, uh -huh, like everybody he has else thought. Yeah, I have to explain to you guys. Yeah. This is a bison hat. It's a bison hat. <laughs> All right, focus your attention on blabs, okay? That's what we got to do for this next wa watch through. Mm -hmm. Focus on blabs, please. Me? Uh oh. It was Thursday. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's a <laughs> that's a bison cat. Yes, it is. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. That's Look, exactly what it is. You've seen this in pictures, right? And people say it's a Nazi cat. Okay. No, it's an M bison replica cat. <laughs> That hair graphics, he fighter and other stuff, so what did they say? He's a Nazi. Right? It's like, come on. Once again, Phil, come on. It looks, it looks way... Like, come on. Craig says, come on, dude. Come on, dude. Come on, dude. Are you kidding me? Oh, do I have to be the one that explains this, really? Come on, dude. Come on. Are you serious, dude? I don't want to do this. <laughs> Right, watch little and little you're 40 come on <laughs> come on yeah, he, he called it a he called it a replica hat even though it's not the the same hat i know that's nitpicking but you yeah. know it's mm -hmm. come on dude it's a replica <laughs> come on dude <laughs> dude you got like you know i had to do it it's the blabs the blabs the blabs yeah. multi <laughs> multi uh blink into yeah, the surprise yeah. face is the money right here watch blabs again <laughs> replica hat that I wear where I played Street Fighter and other stuff. So what did they say? He's a Nazi, right? It's like, come on, man. Once again, Phil, come on. Watch it looks, it looks way... Like, come on, dude. You got, like... You know I had to do it. <laughs> that, that, that's fine, but I, having never seen... I've seen pictures of you in that, and yes. it's like... You know, but it's one of those things, right? So seeing it now, jeez, jeez, it's, it's this, tough, man. man. Like, dude, drop the hat. I'm telling you right now, drop the hat. <laughs> Drop it. Just get rid of the hat. You don't need I don't, to have... I don't wear it often anyway. I really don't. Really I don't wear it often. Because you can tell the trolls want it. That's what they want. They want that stupid hat, you know? What? Oh, oh Travis. Let's see. Travis oh, yeah, is in yeah. real quick. Okay, whatever. We don't need to see Travis. All right. Anyway. Travis, you just missed out on an amazing moment. Uh-huh. Travis, you missed it. You could have been featured right there. <laughs> but all right, my friends. I do want to give a few, few shout-outs to get through here, but then we got to say goodbye and get on to the Christmas special that the Meerkat's going to be restreaming. Joe Dub, uh, Du Blank du Duvel, legend, says, Welcome back, Steve. You have a cute laugh, by the way. So, Steve, you also have a cute oh, laugh. Oh, thank you. Okay, there you go. And Juan Rodriguez in the house says, Love the podcast. Good to see Steve of the Dead back. It definitely is. It was nice for even as short as it was. You see the magic made when Steve is in the house. Mm -hmm. And Aquatil as well. Thanks so much for joining us today to, uh, to make this a really special event. It does feel like a special event, uh, mm -hmm. you know, thanks to you guys being here. So, thanks so much for that. Um, Aqua Teal, business style announcement. Do you have any besides check out the videos you put out? Any streams coming your way? I know you're doing a lot of restreaming these days. What do you want to plug here? Uh, 
Yeah, my next restream will be Like a Dragon Guide. And, um, and uh, I am kind of slowly working on a couple of videos. They're both long form videos, so it may take a while for both of them to come out. Yeah. And one of them, because DSP never shuts the fuck up about it, I don't know how long it will take to make it. <laughs> it's called DSP Hates It Final Fantasy 16. Nice. <laughs> and the second one will probably be Bald This is how you don't play a Baldur's Gate 3. All right. Oh, there we go. Hype. Hype awesome. in the house. Uh, so, and also, Steve, this is your chance. Any thoughts you want to share with everybody before we say goodbye today? Um, I have no business style announcements, unfortunately, but today is two months since I came out of hospital, and I want to say thank you to everybody who's message me and left comments and generally got in touch and said you know i hope you're doing all right and it, it really means a lot to me i am slowly but surely getting there and i will be back some point soon so but yeah thanks for having me on today awesome it's great awesome good luck to you brother thanks for joining us today and uh yeah obviously wish you the best and uh we do, we're doing our best to keep the train rolling, but obviously, as you can feel, Steve keeping does, it going, man. Steve, but Steve does add the magic, and we definitely miss you. But again, take your time, brother. We got a lot of years of detracting ahead of us, maybe. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe. We'll see. But <laughs> New Cat, go ahead. Um, like ALT said, uh, all of you guys in chat are invited to my place after this stream where we're going to watch the, the Dark Side Phil Christmas special. Uh, since this is probably going to be the latest, uh, the last TBS of the year, yep. thanks everybody for showing up and liking what we put out. We really like putting it out. It's really fucking fun. And thanks for being on this wild and very stupid, but very entertaining ride with us. Yes. I do want to say um, it is it soon will be January. And the month after that is February. And you know what happens in February, my friends? The Kaching of the Ring. So we are officially, you know, within two months of the next Kaching of the Ring. So I'm very hyped for that. Uh, and Lemtex, I can say, has agreed to be the judge with us. So he will be in the house. Lemtex will be a judge, and we will have another Kaching of the Ring, which happened almost a year ago now, 10 months ago, crazily enough. Uh, tonight, WPIG will be live with Atlas the Bookkeeper. We're watching Ask the Kings, as we always do, uh, until Steve's ready for the Dead Sea Scrolls to be back in action. Uh, but we'll be watching Atl me and Atlas watching Ask the King. Uh, you know how it goes. You're all legends. And Agent Proper's video is live now. So I'll put that oh. link in chat as well. Let me make sure we're redirecting to Meerkat stream. Is that? Is you have a scheduled stream there, Meerkat? Yet? Oh yeah, yeah. It's all good. It's all set. But uh, okay. I would tell everybody, uh, like I did earlier on, the DSP probably the first hour is gonna be. What happened? Oh uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, probably the first hour is gonna be a complete waste of time. So please just go <laughs> check out Agent Proper's <laughs> video. It, it's uh, I'm I'm thinking it's probably fucking fantastic. So go. Give the dude the view. He worked really hard to put it out. Uh, I'll be live, of course. You can check me out. I think Tevin is live. You can check him out. He can do whatever you want, you guys. The yep. world is in the palm of your hand. And now I got to say peace out because uh, I got to go get ready and start the actual stream. Yep. See you guys there. You Thanks for all the chill and big ups, everybody. See everybody. You're all legends. Bye. <laughs> go. This one goes out to the one and only, the big cat, the fat cat, big ups. I first saw you in Burger King, you took two seats cause that ass is way too big, had a boyfriend I realized. But you told him lies with your raccoon eyes The DoorDash is here Wipe away your tears Got you extra fries And they taste just right Have no fear There's no trolls here Tevin made you cry with those raccoon eyes. Raccoon eyes. Raccoon eyes. Tevin made you cry with those raccoon eyes.
want some sushi like you were the queen let me run some errands while you sleep i can watch you play skyrim all day this week have no fear there is no trolls here kevin made you cry with those raccoons In reality, like I tell you guys, every day when I wake up, that's the best day of my life. I feel like this next day is awesome. I, I, get, I have a, a beautiful wife who I love so much. She loves me and a family, Jasper, and, and you know, the things we get to do together. You know, I definitely want more time with them and more family time, but I absolutely love my life today compared to how it used to be. Seriously, all those years back then, you'd be like, it's a whirlwind of crap. It was me, and by the way, I've told you guys about my past. I used to drink way too much. I would be drinking constantly, all the time, because I was so stressed out. I was, I, honestly, when I started with this whole thing, I was depressed many years ago, you know, a decade ago. I didn't like my life or anything. And basically, liquor was the way to kind of get through that. You know, it was, oh, I hate my life, I hate, I hate who I am, so let me just drink it all away and just keep pumping out fucking YouTube videos. I don't have to do that shit anymore, you know? Like, I'm happy with who I am. I actually don't think clicking like on a live stream helps at all. So it really doesn't matter if this, this stream gets 100 likes or two. I don't think it affects it.